Dude. It's time for High Rollers Dungeons and Dragons. Welcome, everybody. It's time for another exciting adventure in a row. It's with us, the High Rollers D&D crew. I'm your Dungeon Master, Mark Sherlock Humes. That's me. I'm that guy. Wait. Joining me are these people. Oh, yeah. We've got Rhiannon, Tom, <laughs> Katie, Hi. Trot, and Kim. <laughs> Welcome, <laughs> dear friends. Got to we we have a lot of fun recording each other uh, now, and that's all we really do. Do we? Uh, hey, yeah. do hey we Trot, have... press the Tom button. I don't have it, Tom. Oh. Oh. It's a different oh. profile, different setup. Sorry. Different profile. Oh He's got a whole different setup. He's got our jokey setup, point? and then he's. What's well, the here point? you go, Tom. Yum. Uh, <laughs> yum yum <laughs> we are here to play dungeons and dragons fifth edition uh with high crew if you're not familiar uh we have been playing this game for nearly three years this particular campaign is over three years old now uh, we're in the epic high levels uh we hope that you're ready for some mcu level shit that's about to go down uh but before we get into it we Language. have a couple of things uh we have our sponsor for this week which is our good friends at D D beyond now normally Chris Trot does all of our sponsored segments, but I messaged him today because I had a bit of a brainwave uh, while I was getting ready to do the stream today. And, you know, I'm not a cool musician. I can't write amazing music like a lot of you and like Trot can. You oh, know, I, I can't do any technical wizardry, but I do think I'm pretty good at writing lyrics for songs, right? And so I've, for D&D Beyond, our amazing sponsor, D&D Beyond, I've written like a little song that I, I think it could be the next big like millennial TikTok vine, whatever the latest thing is. I think it could be the biggest, the <laughs> oh, new big He's hit, already out of right? touch. Wow. <laughs> right? Wow. I think it could be. I think this it could be a big boom. Boom. It could be the I'm top a bit of, of a the boomer. Pulse. Hey there, fellow I got, kids. I got, my I got my finger on the pulse, okay? And I think that I've got it, right? <laughs> okay. So I've got my right. lyrics here. Uh, please forgive you know, the you terrible performance. Uh, uh, no, I'll save that for the end. That's, that's saved for the end, okay? <laughs> right? Good. Are you are you ready? Are you, are you ready to hear my D and D TikTok epic TikTok uh, song? Okay. Yeah. Right. So you have to get the beat. It's just like uh, got a natural one in D and D just now. Yeah. Combat DM just frowned. <laughs> just frowned. TPK on the board right now. Just wiped out his well planned town. The cleric just got downed. No revive. Guess a new character needs to be found. There's an inn not far, just around the street. Time to roll up a new character sheet. Take me to your website, D and D Beyond. Yeah. You can browse the room like this magic wand. I'd really love to run a campaign with you. We can be pro D and D players. Pro D and D players. I do have a second verse. It's not as good. No problem, uh, please. That's all right, so carry on. Here we go. DM said, "Hey, player." The character builder is a marvel. Like, for example, it can help you calculate your HP and spell <laughs> slots. I know those confuse you a lot. The builder tracks them and rolls all the dice in the game log. There's a link you can click here. So go ahead and sign up fast. There's nothing you need to fear. D&D Beyond is great. More than you can contemplate. I'm a cool pro D&D &D player. Cool D&D &D oh. player. Take me to your please? website, D and D Beyond. <laughs> you can browse, browse homebrew like this magic wand. I'd really love to <laughs> run a campaign <laughs> with you. We can be pro D and D players. Pro D and D players. I I think, guys. What do you oh think? I think that that's a smash. Hit. Dab. I think that's I, that's. Dab. I didn't. I love that's that. a big <laughs> smash. There hit. we go. Now I'm with you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, I think somebody can make that the next big TikTok thing. I want somebody oh, to take that audio and, and make big TikToks. D and D TikToks, please. Um, <laughs> send them to man. me. Big tall man, you're you're up. It's up to you, He's tall up. man. Not just tall man. There's a big TikTok D and D community. I want to see. Hayes? I want to see them take it on. Yeah, exactly. Jay Hayes as well. Is Jay um, Hayes will. around? On one will. Please. Perfect. But that's you know all the joking aside. D and D Beyond. That one's for you. You can use that as well. By all means, feel free to take that it's D and D Beyond. I know it's amazing. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but you should go and check out the amazing D and D Beyond. Uh, they offer loads of super cool tools. Like I mentioned, you can have homebrew items that you can share with the public. You can create characters if you're subscribed. 
you can create an unlimited number of characters. How wow. about that? Uh, and you can, if you check out the link in chat uh, and use that link to sign up for an account or to get a subscription or buy a book or anything like that, it shows that you've come from us as well. So why not? Why not go and check out D and D Beyond? Um, yeah, yeah, chug chug. I can't think. I can't think of a name for that song. I, I don't know what to call it. Like D and D Beyond chug song chug. just doesn't quite. Why not? Nah, it doesn't really make sense. Like I don't know. Like you know, jug of endless water or something. Something D and D related. I don't know. Um, the next Tom's big thinking, no. TikTok hit song. Yeah, by that's, Martin. That's, the that's the name of it. My first great song. Dot <laughs> my first great my, song. My first yes. song <laughs> underscore final. I love it. I love it. Dot love. Uh, <laughs> Uh, perfect. Erosian boy. I like that one uh, from chat. Thank you. Uh, the other thing I was going to mention as well, um, outside of uh, our amazing D&D Beyond sponsors, please go and check out D&D Beyond. Use the link below. Get all those great tools. I also wanted to thank Crispy from our community because Crispy Me? held an yeah. awesome giveaway in our Discord recently for some D&D uh, books. Uh, Crispy gave away some copies of Candle Creek Mysteries and the upcoming Van Richten's Guide to Ravenloft as well. Um, and that, we didn't want to promote it because we wanted it, Crispy was clearly doing it for our Discord community and the people that are active in that community. So if you don't want to miss out on cool giveaways from our awesome community members in the future, why not go check out the Discord and get involved? We don't want nice people place. just to get sign involved. up for a giveaway, but go and get involved with the Discord and get to meet other High Rollers fans and people that want they to arrange D&D &D games. Very good very, eggs. Very, very good eggs. And a big thank yeah. you to Crispy yeah. for doing that just off his own back. Just just fancy doing it. So big very thank nice. you, Crispy, for that as well. Yeah. Uh, that's all I had this week uh, in terms of announcements and, and messages. Is there anything I have forgotten, dear team? I don't believe so. Well, in that case, I believe it's time for the Dunduns. Welcome back to Erois High Rollers. Last time, after the revelation at the Leaders Summit, the uh, two major factions of Erois have already joined with Callus Valkyrian, as well as Quill's vision that Callus' plan to use the world engine would fail. The party took a moment to decide their next steps. Nova was reunited with her family, her mother Breeze, her father Wade, and her sister Aurora, though her brother Cloud is still missing. The family revealed that Vortensar had indeed been given a vote on the city's allegiance and that propaganda and a lack of understanding had swayed many Ganassi towards Callus's side. Professor Jocelyn Whitsong, Nova's old professor, also revealed that the Cypher Academy, a shadowy organization working alongside Vortensar's Atlas Academy, may have been working with Callus on a deeper level. Speaking with the remaining leaders of the summit, vague lines of allegiances were drawn though some parties remain undecided. Before these discussions could be continued, however, Lucius and Prince Aradan both received a message that Gusthaven was under attack. Danica Bloodfire teleports the party and the Sky Prince, along with the Blue Dragon Felissa and the Druid Shepherd Parrick, back to Gusthaven, where they discover it is under attack by magically enhanced humanoids and strange dragon-like constructs, all bearing the markings of Zarkira. With three major locations under attack, the party decide to head to the docks to try and protect the Storm Chaser and help Thalia, hoping that they can provide more support. Prince Aradan and his knights fly to the Ethereum refineries, whilst the Druid Parrick heads to the city center to try and heal and slow down the enemy until the party can arrive to support. With the Storm Chaser and Thalia under siege, the party are in the midst of the Battle of Gusthaven. And that is where we begin, my friends. Woo. We are kicking it off straight into combat. Um, 
I already have your initiative uh, We from last week. Uh, we are at the top of a brand new round. Um, to give you a rundown, especially for podcast listeners, of the current battlefield, uh, we Ooh. have the Storm Chaser um, in the airship Skydock on Gusthaven. Uh, the Storm Chaser's crew is all running around the deck with weapons at the ready. Araya is at the helm trying to kind of coordinate the attacks. Uh, meanwhile, we have Giant Sentry on the Storm Chaser itself. Uh, next to uh, Kamara and one of the large, these kind of large hulking crab-like brutes uh, that seem to have uh, stepped up to it. Ayla is also on the deck of the Storm Chaser facing down one of these large metallic dragon constructs uh, which has risen up the size of the side of the Storm Chaser to attack. Uh, Quill and Lucius are both flying up in the air being assailed by two strange creatures with manta ray-like wings as well as another one of these large dragons. There are a number of other creatures uh, all along the side of the docks um, and Nova is currently inside the hangar with the Twin Star Longbow and Captain Thalia which is being attacked by one of these large brutish creatures and two more. Uh, above the hangar where the, the Twin Star is being located, uh, the mage, the wizard Azaria Perel is also trying to offer some support um, had, and had originally created a barrier to try and keep them away from the Twin Star. Uh, and that is kind of where everything is set up uh, in terms of the battle. And we begin at the top of the round. We have uh, Ayla going first and then Nova. You will be on deck straight after Ayla and then followed by Lucius going third. So Ayla, take us away into this big epic Avengers-esque combat. Oh, hey there. I would like to hit the dragon in its face twice. Yeah, so Thank it's kind you. of reaching up. It's It's got within melee range so it could attack you. So yeah, very, very easily within hammer striking distance. Go for it. That's only an 18 to hit on that one. 18 to hit uh, the dragon. Only just barely hits. It is covered in these metal plates, but it isn't particularly agile. So striking it with a hammer, uh, the hammer manages to break through its physical defenses. Uh, 15 damage on the hammer on the first one. Yep, 15 points uh, of damage. 24 to hit on the second one. Uh, that will also uh, hit. Uh, ooh, 18 points of damage on the hammer. And then a dex save, please. Saving throw. Uh, this is not very much. It's only a 13. Failure. To... Four, five, six, seven, eight points of lightning damage. Two. And eight more points of lightning. As your two first blows come striking down, you know, they, they resound as metal clashes against metal, these great thunderous blows echoing across the sky dock. The, the large dragon kind of reels back, clearly injured by these attacks. It kind of pulls mm -hmm. its long snaking neck back. <laughs> it lets out this like screeching roar. That's um, not the noise yeah. it makes. <laughs> it's not the noise it makes. It wasn't we know the noise it made this week. time. I'm sorry, I can't oh! always make that noise. <laughs> <laughs> I did make a very. Uh, I watched fantastic. it back, and I can't quite remember how I made that noise either. So, just gonna leave it. You at know that. what? I it still that. doesn't be. I think you the were... best noise you've ever made was when we were at PAX. We did that Q and A, and you were talking about the baby Griffin, and it was oh, the most high pitched sweet. noise. The squeak, that's yeah. something that's my favorite. Yeah. Very high, very Mark high sound. squeak. Yeah. I, can't, I can't do it. Yeah. I just uh, I just love that you were so unapologetic about it last week. You were like, yeah, I made that noise. What of it, Tom Hazel? We're just going to move on. The dragon made the noise. Like, speaking of not getting distracted, Alo, is there anything else? You've moved up. This thing is still in your face. It's still up. Uh, very heavily injured, but still fighting fit. Would you like to move? No, I'm going to I'm gonna stare the thing down. I'm, I'm, I'm good. Okay. All right, in that case, we have Nova followed by Lucius. Uh, can Nova get a quick rem or Kim get a quick reminder of what Thalia said? That she said that Perel had done something to the engine of the Twin Star? No, she didn't say Perel had done something. She suspects it may be Perel. Um, she said that the yeah. Twin Star won't, isn't the. the it needs some sort of like boost or like some sort of uh, jump start. Mm -hmm. um, the engines, the infernal engines seem to be slumbering or not not awoken mm -hmm. so she can't power the ship up okay. basically uh 
Cool. Staring you down, yeah. there is one of these giant crab-like figures that has burst through the wall, uh, followed by two humanoids that seem to be covered in lightning. Um, they have like one long tendril arm and then one sort of uh, holding like a sword of some kind, um, and they both crackle with lightning as they step through the gateway. Uh, and then the twin star is just behind you. It's off the map. Okay. Uh, in which case, I am going to... Uh, tell because Kiri, Big Cat, and Thalia are with me, so I'm just mm -hmm. gonna be like, Get to the longbow. Uh, we I can start up the engines, we should try and, and, and secure that from everybody. Don't worry about these guys. And then I'm going to summon a wall of light, uh, to come down. I'll draw it properly in a second, but I basically want mm -hmm. it to cover. Um, the entrance where everyone's coming through, but also zigzag it so that if they were to come towards the entrance, the get the door of the twin star, they'd have to like basically go through a gauntlet of uh, okay. all of lights. Yeah, well, draw, draw um, it down. I imagine that the twin star is about five yeah. feet behind you, just off the map, the ramp leading up into the ship. Mm -hmm. um, and then yeah, just draw the wall of light, uh, and that's your turn, right? Because it's an action uh, to cast. You can't, or can you fire a beam on the same turn? There's some, there's some to? stuff that you can. I'll, I'll do in a second. But first of all, because Kim is dumb and has the memory of a goldfish, I can't remember. Are these squares ten foot or five? They're ten foot, aren't they? These are all five foot. Five no, these are all five, five foot, foot squares. They're five yeah. foot. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah, I'll, I'll draw that up in a second. But first, can everybody, um, all three of your little bad boys, make me a constitution saving throw, DC 18, please? So it triggers when you actually draw the wall of light over them, yeah? Uh, when the wall appears, each creature in its area must make a con saving throw. And on a failed save, you'll take 4 radiant, 8 D8 radiant damage, and there's other stuff too. All right, actually, the large one is only a 13. Oh my god! <laughs> um, well, all three of them fail. Okay, uh, in which case I rolled three sevens and a four. So, uh, Tom Hazel, math, quick. Damn. Um, oh my god, that's 25. 7, 14, 21, 25. So, 25 points of radiant damage, and they are all blinded for a minute. <laughs> okay, all right. Uh, I will put this in fact, actually, I'll do this on the other one. So the brute, okay. uh, brute B, takes 25 points of damage, and then this would be shockers C and D, both take 25 points of radiant damage. Um, they both, you hear this kind of, <gasps> as like they both kind of like one of their tentacles kind of rides up around their face. They are very clearly blinded, um, taking the full full damage from the wall. Um, um, and that's murder. She wrote. That's all I got. Okay, all right, well, you draw that wall draw uh, whilst wall. we move on to Lucius. Now, Mark, beloved Hello? DM, loved by all. You know that this doesn't oh. work. I go by the, the letter of the rules, so. Can what would you I? like to do? What do they say about him? I'm rules flying right now. Mark. You the are flying, boy. so you have 60 so foot of flying. I'm going to move up to about here. Now. So just at the northern end of the ship, uh, for yeah. podcast listeners, to the north of where Ayla is currently fighting one of these large dragons. So I spin around to look at one of the massive dragons on the mm -hmm. port side of this uh, <laughs> ship. And mm -hmm. I'm seeing these two other... What are they again? These things? So these are the same kind of... They, they look humanoid in shape. No discernible gender. They have one long tentacle arm, and then the, in the other one they're holding swords, dressed in Zarkiran robes, like robes with Zarkira's emblem on, um, but they crackle with lightning, with storm energy. Right, cool. So what I want to do is... A couple things. Can I cast Cone of Cold, but use my chromatic control to turn it into acid en route. I believe that we've established that you can but, do this, yes. <laughs> this is the caveat that okay. because you're going to allow it makes you just that much a better DM. My defensive dichromancy allows me to, uh, when I deal damage with it, can I use the cold aspect of that as it's traveling and changing into acid to give myself the defense of dichromancy of cold mm. even though i'm converting it to acid this ah. is the problem with me making homebrew things that allow yeah. i would say that because you are converting it it would have to be acid resistance 
because the it's you're changing you're it before the spell hand. so the <laughs> when you when you cast the spell that hurts chris Tra. i just want you to know that that actually hurts <laughs> when you cast the spell you are changing it the instant you cast it with the chromatic control like you're changing the color as it goes and then the the defensive nature is you're siphoning off that own spell's energy to ward yourself in some sort of magic so All right. you, we'll start with the, it we'll has do the to be the, the version then. Yeah, the damage that you deal is the damage that you can become resistant to. Okay. Think of it that way. I'm going to do an acid, cone of acid. Cone uh, of acid, yeah, absolutely. Five. So here we go. All right, so what do I have to do? This is um, saving throws, rolling. and this is a 60-foot cone, isn't it? Yeah, so it should show you here. Uh, DC 18, yeah, please. Your... DC I'm, I just 18. want to grab... I want to use... Basically, imagine a, a straight line down that ship. <clears throat> is where the cone starts and it goes and this is constitution right. saving throw con yes okay so the large dragon gets a 28 natural 20 um so that will take half damage yeah um then the two shockers uh these guys are probably gonna fail oh 20 on one that's a fail um, and 15 16. on the other one Okay, one. So the fails. the dragon and the first shocker both take half damage, but the last one is going to take the full amount. Um, Twenty eight for half, forty seven total. Forty seven. Oh my goodness. Oh my god. So the the one the the lone shocker at the back. Uh, <laughs> the the lone this creature with like this long tendrilled arm and this sword that's crackling with lightning the the acid spray the the large dragon and then the the figures behind it they absorb some of it but they manage to kind of pull their wings or kind of throw some of the magic away diverting it pulling back from it the last one is taken so by surprise because it doesn't see it coming it is engulfed by this this cone of acid and it just dissolves the whole creature just turns to mush uh, as it is completely destroyed by this spell, yum, just yum. <laughs> wipes it out. Can I also dichromancy the dragon as well for 10 points of acid? 10 more points of acid. You watch as the blows that Ayla has been hammering against this creature, and now this surge of acid damage just streaming from Lucius's outspread fingers. Um, the dragon's pe its parts of it are just falling apart. Sections of it are breaking off. Its limbs are falling away. Uh, it seems to be in a very, very, very bad shape uh, in this in this regard. I'm done. Okay. Wow. Just give me one second here. You can have three. Uh, thanks. You're welcome. Thank you very much. Uh, so that cost me three sorcery points there. Just for the stat nerds out there. Got eight points left. Nice. In my font Thank of you. magic. Cool. Thank you. That's that's for me. That's for you, Tom. Thanks. Great. Okay. Uh, so, Lucius, anything else on your turn? Uh, you're currently I'm hovering, spent. yes? So you're flying up in the air? I'm spent, yes, and I'm going to continue to how, hover. How high above the deck of the ship are you currently flying, just so we know? I think when I initially took off, it was mm -hmm. just a you diagonal. Went, like, diagonally. So I reckon about... 20 feet at most from the top deck. Yeah, okay, so about 20 feet up from the deck. Okay, but about that's about 80 feet from the dock of the of Gusthaven itself because the ship has got some uh, some distance yeah, up as well. Yeah, I'm over the ship right now. Okay. Why are you uh, asking? <laughs> How interest. No reason. Uh, yeah. Azaria Perel will cast Fly on herself, and seeing that the the creatures that are storming the deck are being taken care of, she will fly uh, to hover over the ship itself. Um, she, it's an action to cast Fly, so that's the end of her turn, but she's now, like Lucius, she's flying about 20, 30 feet above the deck of the Storm Chaser. Um, mm. Her kind of long funerary, like these black dress funerary robes kind of just trailing beneath her feet, giving her this very wraith-like appearance she flies over. Uh, Keelik, you are up next, and then we have Sentry. Cool. Um, just a reminder, what are these two things flying next to me? So these are humanoids with manta ray-like wings, you would call them, and they spat acid at you and threw javelins at you and Lucius. Yeah, those things suck. I do not like them. Uh, so I'm going to fly a little bit forward. I want to land on the ship. Um, so you're going to land on the deck of the ship, okay? Yes. Uh, I kind of want to just 
get away from those things a little bit. But I also want to cast, with my future vision quill from my staff, I want to cast Banishment on the Ooh. dragon way off to the left. Okay. Um, it needs to make a consti- uh, not constitution, a charisma saving throw of 21. I don't want to trust it to do some bullshit roll. I don't imagine its charisma is high enough. So I'm going to use Portent, uh, and it rolled a three. Holy it crap. rolls a three. Nice. With its charisma of three, giving it a minus four, <laughs> means it has a minus one save. Oh. Um, <laughs> so, so there's no way. What is this... What does this look like, Quill? Now, keep in mind that it is a concentration for a minute, so I'm not going to delete it. I'm going to make it vanish. So we see Quill kind of raise up the staff. What does it look like, Quill? Yeah, future vision Quill bursts out and holds a hand forward, and with a faint pop, that's what it says on the spell description, the dragon in the distance vanishes. If it's native to a different plane of existence to us, which I imagine it is, it goes there. But I need to hold that for a minute, which is what Future Vision Quill is going to be focusing on the entire time. Okay. So you just watch as this very aged-looking quill, like this aged, dressed in Hesper Priest robes, is holding out his his wings, kind of just concentrating in the distance. And I think for the visual effect, we can see the, the dragon almost like translucently, like it's being sent to another place, uh, or like there's still this afterimage of where it once was. Um, but you can see that the, the future quill is kind of holding that in place. I'm keeping it locked down. Okay, great stuff. Awesome. Uh, anything else, cool. Quill? Uh, that will do. That's a full action to do that. Okay. All right, Sentry. You have one of these giant brutes in front of you on the deck of the ship. You are muted, my dear. <laughs> oh, Hi. no. Hi. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to make two attacks against the uh, the brute guy. Um, but can okay. I was wondering? So, if I make two attacks, can I cast a bonus action before I make a second attack? Yes, you can. Yeah, you can. So you can choose how to divvy up your movement and bonus action. So you can attack and then move. Um, I think cool, that's cool, how I'm going to cool. rule it anyway. That might not be right, yeah. but I know you can split movement up between attacks. Whether you can take a bonus action or not, I'm not sure. But for rule of cool, I'm going to say you can. Okay, so um, I'm going to do my first attack against the Brute, and I'll do a level 3 Divine Smite. Okay, well remember, you don't have to use that until you hit. Uh, 15 to hit against the Brute. Uh, I've got a lot of enemies. That that will not hit. So as you plunge the sword forward, so you don't expend the spell slot, because with Divine Smite, you don't choose to use it until you hit. Um, The sword goes to deflect, but you can see it's covered in this thick crab-like armor, and it's got these two giant pincers, and it kind of holds the blade for a second, manages to deflect it away, um, not quite finding enough purchase to actually strike true. Alrighty, I'll try again. Nat 20! Alrighty. Oh dear, this is going to be... <laughs> oh my god, oh. that is going to suck no. for that guy! No. Yeah, level <laughs> Here three we go. Smite again. But I was going to um, cast Spirit Shroud as a bonus action and give myself an extra D8. Oh, fluff. Okay, oh, nice. so we say it's before, so, just so we know, before the attack, you <laughs> yeah. would have cast Spirit Shroud, and yeah. then... Uh, yeah, okay, sure. Uh, so mark down Ooh. that you've got Spirit Shroud and you're concentrating, um, and then yeah, so with crit rolls, Maximize all the dice and then roll the dice again and then add any modifiers. I am nice. ready so for that, the most. And uh, just remember, six, you get an extra, you get an extra D four from yeah. Her Majesty's rope. Six. Yeah, you've you've already done D4. it. Yeah. It's so you've already done sixty eight damage. Holy shit. So that's uh, eight, sixteen, twenty four, thirty. What's eight times six? <laughs> and then uh, two D four. I got max on those. Forty eight. So, so it'd be 48 damage plus 18. So 56, yep. 66, uh, 48 plus 8. 74. That's insane. Do you do, you do max for the D4s as well? Yes. Yeah. And yep. I got a D, I got so, plus 5 as well for my, <laughs> so 72, for my sword. 77 plus damage, I think. 77 points of damage. Yep, I think that's right. <laughs> that, that's that equate, that's equates to me. Okay. So you watch. Essentially, that first attack, it manages to kind of like deflect with its claws and kind of shrug off, and it kind of looks at you with these dead eyes, this grey, 
like almost featureless mouth except for these dead looking eyes um and it just kind of <clears throat> and then you just thrust forward again this time the, the the her majesty's rose this kind of thorny blade blazing with golden light from the matrix and it just splits this creature in half and with one twist oh you just watch as light erupts from it and the whole thing just falls apart at Sentry's feet completely dead this thing just is broken apart by this attack as the blade right. just <laughs> smashes it to pieces I Rather. think Sentry's just mad at all this Starkira Starbane stuff she's just like yeah understandably uh, yeah yeah Understand. Therapy. Um, yeah. I mean, that was yeah. attack one, yeah. right? That was attack two. She no, missed on the first attack. attack. Oh, okay. so that was attack oh, two. Course, yeah. 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 So, and oh but you now God. have spirit shroud up. So keep an eye on that and concentration. We'll do. Uh, anything else, Sentry, on your turn? I think then she'll just move up next to um. Oh, I keep what's her name? The I can't believe I've forgotten Kamara. her name. Kamara. Yes, I'll move up next to Kamara. Kamara. Just yeah, you're next to Kamara. Yeah. You're next to her already. So. What is Spirit Shroud? It gives me an extra D8 extra damage. Um, and also, the creature has 10 feet less of movement. Oh, but cool. It's not oh. going anywhere anytime soon. <laughs> it's not going anywhere now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah okay. it's dead. So. You slow yourself down to hit hard. Cool. Yeah. Nice. Well, it doesn't slow Sentry, it slows other creatures around Sentry down. Yeah. Oh, right. Oh, I see. Cool. Okay. okay. Right, well, Sentry, you kind of position yourself next to Kumara, kind of like readjust, uh, look around. Uh, meanwhile, uh, Quill, sensing that you are the source of this banishment on the dragon, these two fly boys will very much uh, hover and they are just going to spit acid and throw javelins at you. Um, yeah, that's, that's what they're going to do. Uh, so the first one spits acid in your face. Does a 17 hit? Uh, it does, but I'm going to shield. Okay, so gives you plus five AC, so that attack misses. Uh, it's yep. Javelin. Remember that AC stays with you as well until the start of your next yeah, turn. Yeah. Uh, the next one's 11. It misses, so the Javelin now nice. bounces off the magical shield that you've conjured. <clears throat> the second one on its attack will attempt to spit acid at you as well. That misses, glancing off the shield that you've conjured. And then the second one, uh, the Javelin comes in. Both of these attacks just bam, 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 bouncing off this shield that you conjure in front of yourself to protect yourself, helping make sure awesome. the future Quill can keep that level of concentration uh, down. Cool. Falia, on her turn, uh, will uh, kind of look over at you, Nova. Excellent work, my dear. Uh, yes, let's get to the let's get to the ship. Uh, but before we do, she will just pull out her uh, little arcane pistols that she has. Um, and even though she can't see the creatures because the wall of light is blocking it, she's still gonna might as well make a couple of attacks uh, because she can. Um, Annoyingly, um, I don't get to... Attack have advantage um, because they're blind. Um, so but they have disadvantage because you can't has see them. Because the wall um, is I don't uh, know opaque, you right? You can't see through it. it, it no, yeah, it I believe it says the wall is that. opaque. Um, it's not. Um, it blocks line of sight, but creatures yeah, can Yeah, so that means that it. she counts as being blinded. Um, if it blocks line of sight, she would consider... She would count as being blinded to shoot through it. Because she can't see through, because it blocks line of sight. Yeah, I guess. Uh, That's just the rules of line of sight, really basically. That just... before. Yeah. yeah, I think we have. Well, I don't think we've ever had like before. range attacks go through it. Yeah. Well, no, going through it, I don't think anybody's ever attacked through the wall of light before. But if it blocks line of I sight, guess, yeah. then you count as being blinded. So yeah. uh, she's um, still going to make uh, a couple note, of attacks. Actually, I... I haven't yep. drawn the full wall because I wasn't too sure of exactly where we were on this map because we're kind of squished in a corner. So there's about 20 foot. Yeah, from that's this where wall you are. Because I wasn't too sure. Oh, that's where we are. Okay, okay. well, that's where you are. Yeah, and then the, the ship is about five feet behind you. Um, um, so. In which case, I'll oh, add an extra. So she has there. advantage, but she also has disadvantage. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Uh, both attacks, because of the wild shooting, none of Thalia's attacks actually hit, but then she will basically run off uh, into the Twin Star, uh, pulling Kyrie and Big Cat with her. Um, but she is nice. there and in the fight. Uh, next up, the dragon next to uh, Ayla. Uh, this thing is very displeased. Um, it yeah. saved on it. Yeah, so it I need to do that on the end of their turn. Yeah, uh, let's see if its ability... Oh, no, this one hasn't used its Radiant Breath yet. 
Um, oh. So it claws itself onto the deck of the ship, kind of climbing up. Uh, maybe it will actually fly up. Um, mm, no, actually, because it wants to be at an angle where it can. Yeah. It will probably remain about there. So it kind of clambers up, keeping within melee range of view, Ayla. But then its giant snake head comes down lower. Um, and it's going to fire a long beam of like intense heat and light out of its mouth. But then arc it upwards in a line to catch Lucius, uh, who is uh, flying above. So he's going to do it in like a diagonal kind of line. Like <laughs> cutting upwards to hit both you and Lucius. I need you both to make cool. a dexterity saving throw. Oh boy. That's a 16. That is actually a success. You can take half damage. Oh. Uh, 24. That's you. You're going to take half damage. Excellent. Four. Uh, so 28 max damage. You're going to take... What's that? 14 damage 15. each. Lucius, I need you to make a constitution saving throw to maintain your concentration on your fly spell. Ah! Uh, that one. Seven. So, oh. even though you managed... Even though you manage to dodge and avoid this intense beam of light, the kind of focus of dodging it, you, the spell goes from your mind, like the pain of being blasted. Um, you said you were 20 feet up, so you were going to take another 2d6 of falling damage. You take eight more bludgeoning damage as you land, and you are kind of positioned on the very edge of the Storm Chaser, but for the sake of benefit, we'll say that you kind of land at the very edge, so there's a risk you might roll over and fall off, but... For now, you're kind of like clutched onto the side of the ship, but um, okay. yeah, it kind of knocks you out of the air poof, as you land down on the ground. Okay. Uh, this thing then just basically remains uh, in place, kind of just roaring defiantly, um, seemingly unfazed by its own wounds. Uh, the other dragon is currently not in this realm of existence, so it is not here. Uh, that brute is dead. Uh, one of these... the. Last remaining shocker will clamber up the side of the ship uh, and move to attack Ayla. Uh, heavily injured, though it is. Uh, so it reaches out with its tentacle. That's a nine to hit. So it trying to wraps you up with this tentacle Ayla, but you manage to kind of like throw it to the side. Um, and then it will reach out with its kind of lightning touched sword. Uh, that's a 23 to hit. That'll do it. But you are resistant to lightning, so you're going to take half this I damage. Am. So it would have been eight, but you're going to take four points of lightning damage as its like sword kind of cuts through you with pure lightning energy, um, but not quite enough to do anything harmful. Uh, Nova, is there with the wall of light? Is it on the start of their turn or the end of their turn that they take damage? End of their turn if they're still in it. Okay, uh, so the large brute-like creature will—it's pretty dumb. What's its intelligence? I don't think it's... Yeah, it's not the smartest tool in the TED. Uh... The TED? <laughs> Why are you going to bring TED into yes. this? Yeah. Smartest tool in the TED. Uh, it will <laughs> stumble forwards. Now, does it take every time it moves through the wall, or...? No, it's not like it just wall if it ends of, um, turn frost. There. It's just no. if it ends there, yeah. Okay, so with their movement, they would be able to basically get next to you and the twin star, basically. So it kind of stumbles through. It's still okay. blind, but it just charges forward, swinging its great claws. It's going to have disadvantage on its attack against you, but uh, it's still going to make the attack. Uh, and so dun, 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 dun. first one is a 20. The second one is a 15 to hit. Uh, so lowest 15. Fast, so I think it misses. Okay, so the, its, yeah. first, its first of its claw swings misses. It tries to do the same thing again. 22 or 13. So yeah, both times because it's blinded, it's just swinging blindly around, trying to reach for any kind of target that's caused it this great pain. Um, but it's standing in the kind of gap that you created for you and Thalia, just kind of swinging its arms around, um, not quite sure where to look. Uh, that's the end of its turn. Um... It can make a con save at the end of its throw, uh, at the end of its turn, cool. um, to end the blind. End the blind will do. Con save, yes. Uh, that is only yeah, a fourteen. Um, yeah, that's not enough. Uh, I, okay, I presume it's so it DC, does not. So it's eighteen. Um, the two other creatures will back off. They're not actually going to come stumbling through. Uh, they're going to kind of move themselves away. 
uh, stumbling till they reach the kind of edge of the docks, kind of feeling for it, but they're not going to take any actions this turn. They're just going to try and uh, maybe move themselves down uh, out of line of sight, um, just kind of stumbling, you know, feeling for, for wall and safety. Uh, and then they're going to make the con save as well. I don't think they're going to make this because their con save is pretty low. Yep, they both fail as well. So they remain blinded, just trying to like blink and rub these. They kind of have these almost like fish-like eyes bulging out the sides of their heads, but none of them are able to do it. At the end of the round, so Araya, at the end of the round, we're going to have the crew of the Storm Chaser go. Now, Lucius being the captain, uh, you can direct their attack. So otherwise, or Araya will, basically. They can basically all focus fire. Um, on one, the, the most effective thing for them to do is for them all to focus fire on one target. Uh, currently, that's going to be the large dragon, unless you would like them to do otherwise. Uh, no, it'd be good to get rid of that big old dragon. Okay, so, so the that. crew of the Storm Chaser, all of them, uh, Kamara, Araya, all of the individual crew members, all armed with these kind of uh, callous force rifles that you gave them, uh, will turn and they direct their fire to the Chardlin dragon next to uh, Ayla. The only exception is actually one of the crew stumbles towards Ayla, because I forgot it failed its save against the dragon's malevolent presence. One of the Storm Tracer crew, Ayla, turns and points the rifle at you and is going to make an attack against you instead. It's like, no, get, get away from me. Uh, but that's only a 13 to hit. <laughs> so you kind of dodge to the hit. side as it blasts at you. Um, Meanwhile, the rest of them just unleash this barrage of fire at the dragon. And to, rather than me rolling like every single attack roll, I'm just going to have them do 20 force damage straight up. Um, awesome. Representing some of them hitting, some of them missing, Araya joining in. Like it basically is just going to be a set 20 damage uh, cool. this turn. Um, cool. Also, at the end of the round, some other stuff happens. So, <clears throat> uh, Quill. You receive a message in your mind. Yeah. This is one of Prince Aradan's knights. We're encountering very tough resistance. This dragon is proving more than we can bear. We may we may need someone to assist us, uh, is the message you receive. Mm -hmm. Lucius, you also receive a message. Brother, this is... We're getting bogged down. This druid that you've sent, we're not able to keep them off too long. The citizens are being attacked. The, this dragon is causing untold destruction. We may need assistance. Uh, is the message you receive. Um, ah, crap. Oh, no. I see what's happening here. In the road. I see what's happening here. Mm hmm. So, uh, we jump back up to Ayla. Hello. Dragon's still alive. Needs some hitting in the face, I think. So sure. I'm yeah. gonna it's right in front of you. Uh, you passed the save it. against its malevolent presence, so you're okay. Yes, I did. Um, yeah, but uh, okay, yeah, century will need to um, make it on All right, go for it. And Nova, you're up next. 20 to hit. That's a hit. That is a 13 damage on the hammer. 13 points um, of damage. <laughs> this thing is on its last legs. You can see that the, the multiple blows, the damage from the oh. acid have almost torn this thing apart now. 22 to hit on the second one. That's a hit. Which is uh, 18 damage on the hammer. And then... 18 points of damage. A dex save, plus. And then a dexterity saving throw from old Dragon Boy. Oh, good. My extension is not working. I'll just do it manually. That's a 17. Oh, I believe that is a pass. So he takes half. So he takes half four. damage. Four, four points of lightning points. damage. You can see that these these three blows, bam, 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 and the, the blast of lightning, this thing is barely standing. Like parts of its arms and legs are now breaking off. You can start to see the exposed, uh, not like clockwork, but there's almost like this pulsating organic mass beneath the 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 creature's armor plates um and it's it's struggling to keep st standing basically uh as it lets out another defiant roar um anything else Ayla, on your turn i got nothing left 
That's it. I'm just okay. going to stand my ground. All right. Nova Vija. Um, I'm going to move into the ship, but without making a disengage. So it has an attack of opportunity against me, but obviously yep. at disadvantage. It's blinded. Yep, it's at disadvantage. Uh, so let me just see here. All right, extension's been a pain, so... Right, okay, I rolled two 18s, so that's a 24 to hit. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, that does hit me then. Uh, okay. It's only seven slashing damage as this thing just clips you with its giant okay. claw, kind of like tearing at your side, but not, you know, it's, it's, you've, you've definitely had worse. Um, as this thing does manage to just clip you just as you get out of its reach as it swings wildly for you. Yeah. I've had Ayla punch me in the arm. That's way worse. Um, <laughs> and then as that's happening, um, I, w so I'm going to run into the, as far into the mm -hmm. twin, uh, star as I can go. Um, but also I mm -hmm. would like to fight, use my action to fire a part of the wall at the, um, the crab yeah. dude. It means that you won't um, be able to dash. So you won't get to the engine room this turn, but no, no, you no. can, yeah, you can fire off no. the thing. Yep. Sure. That's fine. I rolled a 19 to hit. That does just barely hit the brute. It kind of pierces through its large carapace. Oh, I had advantage though, don't I? Because yeah, so I'll just roll and see if I get better. No, I don't. Um, but anyway, uh, so that's 4d8 uh, damage, 8 plus 6 plus 2, so that's 16, plus 1 is 17 points of radiant 17 damage. 17 points. You hear it kind of like, oh, okay. still alive, but heavily injured by that blast of light from the wall. Okay. Uh, yeah. So uh, next turn, you'll be able to get to the engine room. Um, okay. Potentially. All right. Fantastic. Uh, Lucius. Uh, I'm gonna message a ring, saying, "Moonstar and the Druid are in trouble. The citizens are getting attacked. We need to wrap this up and move immediately." Uh, and I'll call out to Araya. Can the storm chaser move? We need to get moving immediately. Once we've dealt. Oh, once we've dealt with that dragon, yes, I am afraid that if we get this thing up into the air, it will be able to attack the ship more easily. It's more protected here in the dock. But once it's dealt with, yes, now that the uh, Quill has banished the other one. Um, Prepare the crew, and I'll uh, cast Chromatic Orb level 2. Okay. Uh, here we go. Acid, of course. Just rolling the dice. Sure. That is a deck save, please. Uh, I only actually I only rolled a thirteen. Is it hit? Yeah, I was gonna say, is it a deck save or is no, it an attack roll? I think it's the, an attack roll. Thirteen. To hit. Yeah, so the it just skims along its armor, and what armor plating it has left manages to deflect the the chromatic orb away from it, um, just preventing it from fully having an impact. Uh, sadly. Okay, that's. He much me. I'm going. Oh wait, I'm kind of clinging on the edge, aren't I? Should I have? You are. Yeah. So like one-handed, you fired off this like chromatic orb, but you're kind of scrambling onto the edge. Yeah. Can um, I use my movement to try and get on the deck? Yeah, easily. Yeah. Okay. Pull yourself up onto the deck. Cool. Um, because it didn't uh, okay. hit. Does dichromancy go off? Uh, yeah. It's whenever you cast a spell. spell that deals acid yeah. or cold. So yeah. seven points to the dragon, please. Acid. I mean, that nearly finishes the thing off. You can see it kind of like breaks away sections of its hand, melting through the kind of wrist, um, and it kind of causes it to buckle, just barely still standing. You can see it kind of letting out this one kind of final uh, pathetic cry uh, as it does cool. so. Cool. Uh, okay, you done, Lucius? Yes. Uh, in that case, uh, Azaru Perel, having heard the shout between... Um, Araya and uh, Lucius will step up and she will, judging at how badly this thing is injured, she will conjure a ray of frost. Um, she's 13th level, so this is 3d8 on a hit. Cool. Dun, 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 dun. I'll just have to roll it. Uh, that is indeed a hit. That's an 18 plus 8, uh, which hits. And then 3d8, but it's immune to cold, isn't it? 
it is. So you watch as this ray of frost like c cascades over the creature's armor shell, um, but it doesn't seem to have any kind of effect on the on the being's health or or drive or strength. Um, and you just see Azaria kind of frown uh, in a very sort of hmm, annoying uh, <laughs> kind of manner. Uh, but that's, she doesn't have a lot of attack spells, so um, so that is that. Does she have any bonus action spells? And that was like making a mistake when playing chess against yourself. Yeah, it kind of is. <laughs> um, but nope, that's that's her turn. Uh, Quill, it is your go. Cool. I will messenger ring say that uh, the Sky Prince also needs our aid, and I think that's where we should head. Um, and then I'm going to do a mass cure wounds. It's 60 feet, so this is going to hit, uh, I guess, the entire party, so whoever needs it. Uh, I don't really know anyone's health states. But won't hit Nova. Me and Lucius, won't be able to hit Nova. Won't hit Nova. Me and Lucius will get max from this, so we get 3d8 plus 6 max uh, because of cool. thingy. Um, sure. So 3d8, so 24, 24 30. 30 health. Nice. Uh, to both of us. Thank you. And then I will also heal Sentry, Ayla. Uh, I don't think any of the crew have taken any hits, so I'll just do Araya and... Um, Pharrell as well. Um, uh, she's not taken. She's kind of got some scrapes and bruises. Kamara, actually, she would have I had some. Kamara, Kamara might have and taken some of the hit. wolf pook did as well. Yeah, one of the wolf pack took some damage, and Kamara took a damage as well. In that case, yeah, I'll do Sentry, Kamara, the wolf pack, and uh, Ayla. You, or and, three, you, eight, you and Lucius. Uh, sure. So you get fifteen healing. Nice. nice. Yeah, that will basically top uh, Kamara and the wolf pack up uh, to full. Um, and the rest of you will get 15. Is that nice. the end of your turn, Quill? Thanks. That's me, uh, I believe, yes. Uh, if anyone was under any effect of any spells under fifth level, they are also gone. Cool. Don't think Oop. so. Okay, Fine. after Quill's go, there is a kind of crackling of light coming from the dock just behind the near-dead dragon construct. You see this kind of beam of light uh, swell up on a circular platform as a figure arrives, accompanied by a creature. I'm just gonna, mm. I didn't prepare a token for this, so I've got to bring it in. New friend, who okay. dies? I mean, he's coming, he's coming oh, in my life. <coughs> you a see guy. a, you see a familiar looking woman. Uh, she is dressed in dark red and black robes with a great kind of face-plated crown that curls up in spikes. Uh, you can see her wielding a long bladed staff with long dark hair as Zarkira's form arrives in a burst of light. Oh, crap. Beside her is a enormous, uh, well, not enormous, like a large metallic spider-like robot that kind of materializes alongside her. Um, and she seems to survey the battlefield uh, looking around. Hmm. It seems you have fared far better than I expected. I was hoping my little encounter would wear you down a little before my arrival. Still, no matter. Uh, and she will, on her turn. <laughs> Cast kill. <laughs> Go away. Oh, She'll like leave. <laughs> She'll walk away. <laughs> Yeah. We don't know. We don't want more yeah. skyrocks, please. She'll look at us, say, <laughs> "GG, away. it's a draw," and then walk away. GG. Well, uh, met. <laughs> she will. I'm just trying to decide if dispel magic would end banishment. If she can't uh, dispel on Quill, I don't think it would. One creature, object, or magical effect know, within though? range. No, I don't think it would. I don't think it would. Uh, she, she would know. know. Yeah, she would. Oh, I know oh, what she'd do. Okay. Where she is. I mean, I am concentrating Meteor swarm. on it. So... That's what I was thinking. You're concentrating on it, but I don't think it's still there. Um, instead, she will, seeing the terrible state that the large dragon is in, uh, she's actually going to cast Polymorph onto it. Um, and instead, she will transform it into a giant Triceratops. <gasps> oh, uh, no, giant triceratops. Which means that it gets the Triceratops. <laughs> But it oh, means yeah. that it gets we the Triceratops' it hit points. Yeah, we have to go through that hit points now as well. Yes. 
Uh, that and is we have to action. help everyone else who's currently dying. Cool, 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 yeah. cool, cool, yeah. cool, 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 I got yeah, a weird this would be a really bad time. <laughs> uh, no, she won't. She won't do anything as a bonus action this turn. Um, she'll just That's wait. nice. Uh, so yeah, nice. she converts. Nice. She transforms the dying uh, Chardland dragon into a large metallic triceratops on the deck, uh, and then it's centuries go. Oh my oh, god! Oh boy! Well, I'm gonna move on up to this triceratops and have a good go at it. <laughs> <laughs> a bloody good go in it. Have a bloody good go. Nineteen to hit the triceratops for the first attack. Uh that will hit. Uh this Sweet. in its in its triceratops form it does seem to be a bit easier to hit. Alrighty, I'll do a level three divine smite on this boy. So five D eight damageo. Ba -ba -da -ba 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 -ba. And two D four. So that's thirty nine for the first one. 39 points of damage. Uh, this thing, very confused in its kind of perpetual state of pain and then being transformed into not pain and now pain again, uh, you do strike deep into the Triceratops as the Her Majesty's Rose carves through it. Um, yep. Nice. Still standing. 13 for the second one. So I don't think that will hit. Uh, 13 does still hit. It does really hit. Will. What? Yep. <laughs> Yep. All right, I'll do a level two divine smite for this one and use my um, spirit shroud as well. So that'll be another five d eight. Twenty three and two d four. So that's twenty seven. Uh, okay. So four from that. Nice. So these two strikes carve into this new triceratops form of the dragon. Um, is it kind of? kind of like throws its head around in pain as Sentry turns to engage it. Um, that's it? Yeah, that's it for me. Anything else, Sentry? Uh, okay. no, I At the end of your turn, Sentry, Zarkira's going to take a legendary action. And oh, she's going to cast a spell. She's going to cast a spell. She's going to cast a third level Tasha's Mind Whip on yourself and Ayla. I need you both to make intelligence saving throws. Uh -oh. You just watch as she raises oh, a hand and these two no. lashes, like whips of energy, whoosh, strike your brains. <laughs> Katie's making a face at me. <laughs> I should have. My brains. I should have said something before you rolled. Never mind. What's your, uh, what's your minus there, Sentry? Because let's be honest, your saving throw for intelligence. I've Can't got be a positive. Minus one, I but completely my intelligence lost saving throw is a plus two. That's okay. So I failed. Uh, intelligence saving okay. throw, please. Yeah. I failed. I mean, what'd you guys get, just just so I know? Ten. Ten? Okay, yeah, and sentry? Oh, might that, that might be a 13 for you, Ayla. I've got seven. Are you ten feet from me? She yeah. is, yeah. So, so it's a 13. Yeah, it's still 13 not enough. For you. <laughs> nope. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I mean, uh, you guys are going to take some damage. Uh, this is... Uh, yeah, one additional creature. Oh my god, I rolled 3d6 and got three sixes. <laughs> Oh, that's like so bullshit. Uh, so that's going to be 18 points of psychic damage to you both. Uh, right. Furthermore, you can't take reactions until the end of your next turn. And on your next turn, you only get a move, an action, or a bonus action. Only one of the three. That's it. Cool. Uh, I should have cast spells. Oh. <laughs> cool. Uh, that's at the end of Sentry's turn. Uh, after Sentry, the two flying creatures are going to continue their bombardment against Quill. Um, no, but doesn't uh, Sentry have an spell thing? Aura thing? Hmm? A spell does she? aura? I mean, she gave a bonus oh, to saving throws to Ayla. Uh, resistance to damage Half from damage. spells. Half okay, damage. And this is a spell, so it would be nine psychic damage yeah. instead of 18. So it goes up nine healing. Also, Good reminder. I a lot of times forgot. where that hasn't been Quill. used. Quill, yeah. It? Acid Hello. spit on you. Nine to hit, misses. Javelin is thrown cool. at you. My Dindy Beyond is really struggling. Um, so I'm just going to roll manually. Another nine to hit. Both attacks miss you from both of these flyers who are just rolling really bad. Uh, no, I'm dodging really well. 19 to hit. Uh, yeah, we'll let that go through. Acid spit. 
<laughs> You're going to let that go through? Okay. I'll let that one hit me. Sure. I could. Uh, I'm going to rub it over my face. It fire if like, I don't even care. <laughs> <laughs> Roast me. Well, up. it's lucky. What it's only want? five points of acid damage. Um, but I still technically need you to make a concentration check. DC 10. Uh, okay. That's that's okay, because I can choose what effect I lose as well. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, you can. There you go. 17. 17, you pass anyway. And then the last, the javelin, is an 18 to hit. Ah, yeah. That's going to be fucking terrible. Four points of damage, and I need you to make another concentration check. Cool. Uh... Concentration, 19 plus 21, 21, <laughs> 21 total. <laughs> Sucks, I rolled 400. Nice. Uh, after their turn, awesome. Nova, you hear the sounds of uh, Thalia getting in and strapping into the cockpit and basically preparing to launch the Twin Star, but until the engines are activated, she can't do anything. Uh, the Triceratops rawr, will basically... Uh, trampling charge if the triceratops moves at least 20 feet straight towards a creature and then hits it. Uh, it can't do that because oh. it's kind of stuck there. A spirit shroud as well. It will have 10 feet less of movement. In that case, it's just going to kind of try and gore you, Sentry, and then stomp uh, on Ayla. That's all it's going to try and do. Uh, 19 to hit Sentry, which I know is a miss because yep. you've got an AC 20, right? Minimum? Yep. Yep. Uh, and then Ayla, it's a 11. That was a terrible hit. So it kind of like tries to gore Sentry and stomp on the deck, um, but both attacks kind of failing and missing uh, as it does so. Other Chardlin Dragon is in limbo. Then the creature next to Zarkira moves. She points a finger at Quill, and this thing scutters, jumps up onto the deck, and moves around to engage Helek. Uh... And it just, it scutters remarkably fast um, going from where it did. I'm just going to check its movement. Oh, it actually can't quite get to Quill this turn, actually. Oh. Shaky. Yeah, I, did, I thought I should check that because I was like, actually, it's starting from here. So it gets onto the deck of the ship. It it doesn't the, the moving up. It like a spider. It just climbs up vertically. Um, it gets within range. Um, so it's reach on these attacks ten feet. It can hit Kamara though. So it's going to uh, try and take two attacks. It has these giant like bladed forelegs, and it's going to uh, attack at Kamara. Uh, that first one is going to hit. And that second one is actually going to be a miss. So Kamara manages to dodge out the way on the first one. Uh, where's my D8? Six and seven. Uh, that's going to be oh, 13 mind. points of damage. So Kamara takes a pretty bad blow uh, as she kind of throws herself to the side of one attack. One of these four legs kind of rips through her. But then out of one of the creature's eyes, it has these kind of like crystalline spider-like eyes. Out of one of them, it is going to fire a beam. Um... Uh, a force beam. Uh, one creature within 60 feet. Can you make a dex saving throw, please? Quill. Uh, dex save? For sure, for sure, for sure. No doubt, no doubt, no doubt. Watch for this. sure, for sure, for sure. Oh, oh 17. That was actually kind of good. Uh, 17. Half as much damage on a successful save. So that's going to be 12, 19, 23... 24 oh, halved is God. 12. 12 points of force damage and a concentration check, please. Oh, that one. Uh, so I'm going to lose, uh, not banish. Uh, I'm going to instead lose the uh, Beacon of Hope. Okay. All right. So Beacon of Hope goes, but the banishment remains um, as this thing clambers up. Uh, and it is focused almost entirely on Quill at this point. Uh, that thing's dead. Uh, the remaining little lightning guy is going to take a swing at Ayla again. It's going to tr desperately try and attack Ayla. Uh, tentacle. It's a miss. Lightning sword. Miss. Uh, this thing just kind of... You're kind of dodging it, deflecting it, kicking it in the stomach to keep it at bay. Uh, can't quite find a grip uh, to reach on you. Uh, Nova, you hear something banging on the outside of the twin star. 
seemingly some sort of creature trying to find its way inside um and it's it's got it's managed to find the entrance but not quite pulled itself inside just yet uh the other two uh will just make their constitution saving throws Right, one succeeds because that was a natural 20. The other one fails. So we'll say that this one at the top manages to succeed at the end of their turn and is no longer blinded. Uh, ready for the next turn. Ayla, we come back to you. I'm going to... Uh, you said this lightning dude's pretty injured, right? Mm -hmm. In front. Yep. I'm going to just try one, and get One good blow will probably finish him off. Mm -hmm. I'm going to try and get him out of the way, and I only get an action this turn. So... But you still uh, get your two attacks, though, because your action is to take the yeah, attack action, yeah. and you get two attacks. Yeah. Uh, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. 20 to hit, unnatural. <laughs> you hit. Okay. Oh, I rolled a full damage on my d20. D10, sorry. Um, 21 damage. <laughs> you... Kind of like you baseball bat swing this tentacled lightning covered man and he just goes flying off the edge and lands into the crates on the <laughs> other side with just kind of like scattering of, of debris, very kind of like whoosh, swing knock goes flying. You hear a faint scream before he snaps cool. his neck on something and is killed instantly. Um, you still have a giant triceratops. Uh, I will face. hit the giant triceratops. Well, I will try Imagine to hit the giants. All your I life. hit. <laughs> To become the shocker plus and you attack Ayla. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know. Uh, what was that? Sorry, Ayla? Um, 27. Nice. To hit. Yep. Um, 11, 12, 13, 14 damage. 14 points of damage. And I will say in the messenger ring, Nova Zarkira is here. Because Nova currently doesn't know. No, no. It's very smart. Very, very smart. Uh, perfect. And that's the only thing you can do this round. Um, at the end of the round, those effects from Zarkira end. Um, that's it. Nova. Thanks, Ayla. Could you tell her to just stand in one place? Because I'm going to blast her out of the sky. Um, and then, uh, I guess I'm inside the ship. I can't see uh, mm -hmm. Crab Boy anymore, can I? So I'm going to go uh, uh, You can see him. So you had only gotten 30 feet into the ship. Well, maybe you can't see, but you can hear him. He's very clearly found the entrance and is blindly stumbling in to try and find you, kind of trying to tear his way through. I forgot to make a save. Oh, he's trying one, to actually. come in. Yeah. Okay, so I need to get rid of him. Bill seems to be blinded, but you can hear like this, like, <laughs> kind of like trying to like get in through the tiny, well, they're not tiny. It's quite a large doorway, but it's still, he's too yeah. big to fit in properly, so... In which case, I'm going to use Wall of Light to blast him again. Um, so that is rolling with advantage. My highest is a 12, so that's 22 to hit. Um, that hits. Which is uh, 4, 8, uh, four, eight uh, 9, 10, 11, 12, Whatever it is. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. Okay, with that, you do hear a kind of final... And then just, like, metal being scraped by claws as something collapses uh, on the doorway as the, the, the light barrier obviously finds its mark. Uh, and they are dead. <laughs> so... I will uh, continue on my way, uh, perambulating on my way to the engine room then. Yep. Poor favor. That, that will be the rest of uh, your movement. You know, use your... You, you get there, but that's going to be your... That's going to be the end of your turn by the time you get there. Uh, as you kind of slide down the ladders, scurry along to the, the infernal engines, which you can see are completely dud. They're just disabled. Um, they don't seem to be functioning. Okay. Uh, after Nova Vija, we have Lucius. Uh, I'm going to cast Vitriolic Sphere on Zarkira, please. Um, okay. Point where uh, it happens, and it's 20 foot, so could I put it in the middle? Will it hit the uh, triceratops as well. What level spell is um? What level spell is this? It's way too high for counter spell. You, Zarkira doesn't stand a chance against. What this level one. spell is it? This isn't Fourth. about counter spell. What level spell? Okay. Uh, 
Okay, mm -hmm. so the spell goes off, um, but you see that when it explodes around Zarkira, there is a there's like a ten foot sphere around her that is untouched by the acid. Okay, it will still splash the. Uh, I'm afraid your little magics don't have much effect, my boy. Uh, I'll get to you soon enough. Because I hit it in the middle, does it still hit the Triceratops? Yeah, so the Triceratops would still take the damage, actually. That's a fair point, because it's a 20-foot radius. So, so it's a deck yeah. save of yeah, 18. Still. Beat. Uh, it's also going to technically, if you, mm, you could aim it a little bit further back, because I'm assuming you wouldn't want to hit your own crewman. Nah, fuck them. No. <laughs> <laughs> of course. I'm going to I'm gonna ignore that fuck them, because I'm pretty sure you wouldn't want to. Um... <laughs> Sure. Okay. Uh, so, uh, deck save for the Triceratops. It fails. <laughs> it's going to take damage. Excellent. Rolling 10d4. Here we go. 24 points of acid damage. So you watch as the acid washes over the Triceratops. It explodes, ignoring it, completely leaving Zarkira untouched. But it erupts out... Uh, covering the Triceratops. The Triceratops' form melts away, um, and it once again reverts to the giant dragon, but the acid is still covering it, and the acid completely erodes the dragon away into nothing. Okay. Uh, as, the, oh. as it does enough damage to go over its hit points of both forms. <laughs> as the dragon oh, is just melted nice. away. Uh, and Can't just, imagine. yeah, completely leaves the dragon uh, nothing to covered as well. in ring, Bravo. so I won't. Not Zarkira? That's like... 70 feet. It's 30 foot range for Dichromancy. 55 feet. Oh, from you. I thought it was from the way yeah. the spell hit. Okay. No, it comes out of me. Ah. Uh -huh. Cool. So yeah, that's okay. me. That's you done. Uh, Azaria Perel. Hmm. Azaria versus Zarkira. It's what we've been waiting for. Let's go. Sorcerer Gate. <laughs> she folds her arms and kind of cocks her head in Zarkira's direction uh, and looks to the large spider creature and seems to almost be studying them for a second. Uh, she kind of looks between the two. Hmm. And she will fly over here and just watch for a second. Oh, good. Yeah, now, now's a good learning experience. <laughs> Such an asshole. Kind of place. That's place. It's just Zarkira. It's just no biggie. Hmm. Uh... Interesting. She finds it very... She's like, hmm, how interesting. It's very powerful. Very powerful mage. Uh, oh, I like this thing that she's made. That's very curious. How did she make that? Quill. Uh, right. I know that this little crab dude is following me around. So I want to... Ah, it's chasing you. It's chasing me hard. I want to cast Expeditious Retreat on myself. Um, and uh, I want to fly directly over it and give it a shocking grasp as I go past it too. Um, so Does Expeditious Retreat prevent opportunity attacks? No, shocking grasp does though. If it hits, yeah. Oh, it will. It will hit. So you cast Expeditious Retreat metal? as a bonus. So as I check, Expeditious Retreat is a bonus action. You fly yeah. next to it for effective purposes. Um, mm -hmm. Cast Shocking Grasp on it, and then you're hoping you fly away because it won't be able to take reactions. Yeah. Is it made of any metal? It is made of metal, yes. So you have advantage. Wonderful. Cool. Uh, so 2d20. Uh, <laughs> it might not hit. Um... Oh, plus nine. Twenty. Twenty to hit. Uh, hmm. Yeah, that would hit. Oh, thank yeah, God. It hits. Um, cool. 3d8 damage then. Um, Interesting. Uh, 16. What, what have I done? Uh, 16 points. Okay. Yeah, it takes the damage. The lightning kind of courses through its body. I was just checking. It's got. It's immune to para, uh, being paralyzed, but Shocking Grasp is just like an effect. It's like a bonus effect. It doesn't actually it cause stops like, them from taking or, reactions. Reactions, yeah. So you kind of like stun it for a second, giving you enough time to continue your movement. So you've moved like um, what? Like 5, 10, 40, 15, 20. 50. So 
that's 50. That's that's my movement. But then I want to dash okay. and basically go up from where I am here, like pretty much off the side of the ship. I want to mm -hmm. go up a lot. So how high? How high off the, the ship's deck are you going? Zarkir is going to kill me. 50. <laughs> 50 feet. Okay. So you are... So if you're 50 feet over, uh, over the deck of the ship, that makes you about sort of... 80 to 90 feet over the docks that you're currently flying above. I'll go over, I'll go 50 up from the deck. <laughs> okay, sure. Yeah. 50 up from the deck. Okay, that makes sense. Um, end of your turn, Quill? That's me. Okay. Uh, Zakira's turn. Hmm. Just walk away. Gotta keep this dragon out, my dudes. Gotta keep the dragon out. Did... Maybe she realized she left the oven on at home and, and needs to go check on that. Yep. Y yeah? Yep. Yep. Yeah. 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 Oh, she forgot She's to unlock her cat her flap. The cat can't get out. Oh. Clumsy. You know what Zakira's kitchen looks like? You ever thought? What am I? Like, Black got electric hobs or gas stove or. Oh, she has the wood fired ones. You wood know, like fire. the old. Yeah, mm. the old country style mm. ones. Yeah. I bet it's a big mess. Harder. Yeah. Lots of cleavers, you know, like big cleavers. Yes. Mm. Yeah. Mm. I bet she loves making jelly. I bet she's got tons of like weird jelly molds and stuff. <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> like, weird shapes. She <laughs> loves here, them man. Out of us like, yeah. and then eats them all angrily. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like bone <laughs> marrow. Bone marrow jelly. Yeah. Je jerry jelly. Like, oh, <laughs> my favorite. <laughs> yeah. yeah. She's going to fly ship. up. Oh, she's moving. Uh, she just levitates. She just flies up into the air. Doesn't seem to be a spell. Just seems to naturally be flying somehow. Um, and lands on the deck of the ship. And then she is... And I just need to measure here. Yep. You don't have to measure She that is going to fire a 60-foot cone uh, directly out from her. Uh, as you watch a oh. cone of multicolored magic just streams out from her oh, hands no. uh, as she counter casts spell. a spell. What level are you casting cast Counterspell, Chris Trot? I know what it is. Yeah? Seventh. Uh, Zarkira will Counterspell at seventh level. Can she cast two? Wait, it's a reaction. She can. Yeah. Reaction. She can. Oh. So you... She begins summoning this spell. You are like, I can't allow this. I know this spell. You begin channeling your own color magic to break it apart. And then you see she's been looking at you the whole time and she just smiles and she raises up her other free hand and all of that kind of colored magic pulling away the beams. She just closes her fist and it just vanishes. Your counter spell itself gone. I need everybody, and I've got to bring up the spell stats for this. Uh... Each creature in the 60-foot cone must make... You can't see them. You can't I see can't, them at no, all. But I just wanted to say it. I just wanted to say no. it. <laughs> Each creature must make a dexterity saving throw. Uh, and then I'll determine which effect. Now, there's a lot of you in here. So we've got a uh, 60-foot cone out from Sarkira. Oh, my God. Is... Uh, whoops. I do kind of want to do that one day, though. Ah, Where you counterspelled my counterspell. Sakira? Oh, oh, counter spell, your counter spell, counter spell. <laughs> so, Sentry, Ayla, Lucius, Penny, and two of the crew are going to be making this save. 23. Yeah. Oh. Alright, so 23 from Ayla, 16 uh, from Lucius. That's failure, by the way. Uh, you're a failure, by the way. <laughs> 20 for me. <laughs> <laughs> 20 exact. Yikes. Yeah, 20 exact. Is that 20? Yeah. Yeah, that's a failure as well, unfortunately, Sentry. Um, and then Kamara's not being affected, but the two wolf packs, okay. one of them will get your benefit. Um, nice. And then I've got to do saves for Penny. Okay, so wolf pack. Now, these guys do have... I kind of gave them, like, NPC evasion. One's going to fail. Uh, the other one's going to fail. And then Penny is going to pass. Penny manages to throw herself behind the mast at the far end of the ship and just, you know, avoids any of the oncoming damage. Um, but... Sentry, Lucius, uh, and two of the crew members are going to take the full effect. Ayla, you're taking half. Uh, and I have to roll a d8 for each of you. So we'll go in order. We'll go with Sentry first. Okay. Two. 
Uh, this is 10d6 of acid damage. Ooh, do I get that halved? Uh, it is a spell, so yes, you would. Yeah. Oh, yes. Uh -oh. That's going to be 10, 20, 31, 36, 40 points of acid damage, half to 20 acid damage for Sentry. So what is uh, this spell? What is that crew? Six. This is prismatic spray. Okay. Prismatic oh, spray. Cool. You walk as the sentry, the closest wolf pack uh, member to you, uh, goes to try and dodge out the way, expecting like the same wave of acid. Um, you, your protective aura tries to like protect them from the spell, but this time the magic that washes over him is like indigo in color, and you watch as parts of their body begins turning to stone. Um, oh no. I must make a constitution saving throw at the end of each of their turns. I'll just do it now. Well, I've got to make a con okay. save too for um, Spirit Shroud. Yes, please do. Uh, the DC would be 20. So it's okay, a failure, yeah, unfortunately. She took 20 points. Oh, no, it'd be half the damage taken. So actually, you would succeed that. Uh, Ayla, uh, for you, it is red that engulfs you. This is fire damage. 10d6 of fire damage. You're taking half anyway. Uh, and I rolled pretty bad. So 10, 20, 26, 27, 30, 33. So half to 16 fire damage. <sighs> kind of engulfs over you. Uh, Wolfpack member number two. Four. Poison damage. 10d6. They are not within Sentry's aura. Unfortunately, this damage is going to be more than enough as you watch as this wolf pack member is cloaked in green magic, their skin begins to boil and swell like they've just been completely engulfed by poison. <coughs> and they just collapse to the ground Jeez. dead. Oh. Uh, and that's, oh that's going to be pretty much mass that's massive damage for them as well. Uh, they are yep. they are out. Uh, and then Lucius, finally Is against the armor you. Gone too? Huh? Uh, no, the armor <laughs> remains. The armor? Uh, Okay. It was a bit cocked. I mean, it sucks, but you know. Uh, this is going to be fire. <laughs> Red engulfed you, Lucius. Okay. So this is going to be 10, 20, 24, 26, 28, 30, 35 points of fire damage. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is fine. As this spell, you so as a point, by the way, Tom, I have to roll a d8 for each target. If I'd rolled an eight, they get hit by two rays, so they could take up to 20d6 of damage. Wow, um, it's a great spell wow. that I used a spell slot on to try and counter spell it. <laughs> yeah, it did. Uh, oh it was no, a good attempt. combat tracker crashed. Oh, I just all the this? initiatives. No. It's she on used the, two uh, counter, two uh, spells for 20. I've got it on roll 20. We've got it. Yeah, we've got it. Don't worry. No, you've got, like, you don't have everybody, I don't think. Uh, in this. Okay. Yeah, you don't have Zarkira. Oh, no, the Retriever and stuff is in there. Okay. Um, yeah, cool. All right, it. let me just reset this, by the way, because uh, I had to refresh my combat tracker. Uh, all issues. Um, who is, who would be next? Sentry would be next. So start thinking about what you want to do, Sentry, while yep. I get this in. More damage. Um, both of these coming up to half past anyway. To be yeah. fair, yeah, we should probably take a break. We could probably take a break now, actually, and then while come back on the centuries round while I fix yeah. this. Yeah, that yeah. sounds good to me. Right. Um, right. Sure. Okay. Right. Well, we're gonna take a quick break. I'm gonna sort out my initiative. Uh, Tom's gonna read you some lovely messages, and then we're gonna come back to this very intense battle. Indeed. Yeah. But short story. Yeah. Counter spell. You counter spell. Prismatic spray. It's pretty cool. I mean, I hate that it was used <laughs> against good. us, but let's be real. It cool. yeah. I was, it's pretty cool. My next turn, I was going to use it um, myself, but now I've used uh -huh. the slot. <laughs> so I oh, can't. On, on everyone on the Storm Chaser? Yeah, on you guys. Oh, nice. <laughs> awesome. I'm done. <laughs> uh, oh, yeah, I'll re read some donations. There was Over something that you. got me in the middle of this uh, in this combat. Um, after Ayla whacked that lightning boy, I just saw in the chat, someone just said, 
Well, he's not going to be in a row is two. <laughs> <laughs> a row is two. <laughs> Uh, that was good. Uh, also, I noticed that Satine Phoenix was in the chat earlier as well. Uh, oh, uh, Very rarely catch the HR guys. So, hello. Hi. Uh, Hi very Satine. nice to see you. Um, but yeah, let's go through some donations and we will be going back to the combat very shortly while Mark fixes the uh, combat tracker. Hopefully, it doesn't Yeah, take I got it fixed. Long. I just had to re put in all the initiative and now I've got to do all the damage that you've already done. So. <laughs> Ah, dang. Uh, cool, 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 cool. Where are we? What's the date today? It's the 11th. Um, well, we had a donation from Run I Dreamer uh, that says, Hi, High Rollers. Uh, clear skies from Germany. I finally caught up on Eroes and just wanted to give a bit back for all the joy this series and you guys have brought me. I even started DMing recently because you guys inspired me. Awesome. Thank you very much, Run I Dreamer. Uh, runny dreamer sounds worse than run eye dreamer, but um, thank you very much. I'm glad that you're uh, you began DMing as well. That's cool to hear. I hope it's all going well. Uh, Darrow with a quarter hundo. Um, this is 100% for the Estelle parody. It was so good. I love it. There you go. Um, got some fans of your new song. Uh, nice, Kayla Mondorian. Yeah, <laughs> Kayla Mondorian uh, has donated with yo, yo. I have had a uh, I've had crap this week, but who cares now because it's High Rollers time, and that's all I need to get in a good place. Big love, High Rolls, and of course, Clear Skies. Yes, indeed. This is a time to shed all the worries of the week and just relax and have some goddamn fun and some D&D, &D and also uh, try not to die. Uh, thank you very much, Kayla Mondorian. Crosshairs has donated with Hi Rollers, weekly update, episode 81 to 92 this week. God damn. Can I just say that I love Trot's roleplay, like the mending of the spear and just uh, standing in space looking at the world. Love it. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Thank you very much indeed. Um, yeah, I think that was just after the big old Turtle Island fight. Uh, so yeah, you're getting close, getting very close. That Norwegian guy with a quarter hundo. Um, Week one out of six of telling the high rollers what they deserve. Uh, let me just read this first. Because <laughs> I know that when we get to my week, what I deserve is not going to be a compliment. Uh, so this, this week, it's for Rhiannon. Uh, that Norwegian guy's compliment for Rhiannon and what she deserves is, when you first joined, I was very skeptical and thought it would never work. But my God, what an amazing role player you are. Twice a week, I look forward to the gems of emotion and joy that you bring. Uh, if Rhiannon is there, and I don't think she is, uh, Hello. I will be there. Did you, did you hear yeah. that message? No, I didn't hear it. I just heard you say my name. Hello. Well, that Norwegian guy says that when you first joined, uh, they were very skeptical and thought it would never work. But my God, what an amazing role player you are. Twice a week, they look Aww. forward to the gems of emotions and joy that you bring. That is oh, week one you. out of six of telling you what you deserve. Uh, so there you go. Oh. Um, Tamo Dragon has donated with, Hey folks, hope I'm not repeating something or poking at something I shouldn't, but why did Quill not see this battle when he asked uh, the Eye about the Empire attacking during the meetings? Do you think Zarkiro has finally broken away? Uh, the question I asked was, uh, what will this place look like, this place specifically in Horizon, look like in three days? Uh, I don't I believe... Think... Oh no, I did ask. I think there's some, will... you... there some confusion. There's some confusion. Were you debating it? I, I, I think there yeah, was also a we question of about where it. in Arois will uh, the, the... The Empire uh, attack. There was Empire a lot of attack. questions about whether you actually asked that, and I don't remember yeah. if you actually specifically used the eye. I so think you Nova... said you were going to save it until you were there. Yeah. Mm. Nova specifically yeah. asked the question, like said, what if you ask... Uh, where will the Valkyrian Empire attack during on Arois during the meetings? Mm. But we never actually asked it to my memory. We never no, actually did asked we, it. No, we asked, asked it, it, it didn't and it come back up. with an answer. Chat is saying, Chat yeah. is saying that you did yeah, ask, but the eye failed. And that makes a very interesting yeah, question failed. for you to answer to yourselves. Why did the eye fail? Sometimes the eye can't I answer questions the... if there is no, you know, obvious answer. I presumed mm. it was because the meeting was over. Like, you know, maybe. maybe. Maybe it wasn't over, 
technically. Or maybe could be many things. She's not part of the empire anymore. Or maybe it, yeah. it, it could even be something as simple as it's a snap decision that she just did right then and was like, yep, yeah. I'm doing it now. Uh, so, there's no way for the eye to know that. Or it could yeah. be that maybe Zarkira, there is magic that prevents like things like divination spells from being able to know anything about you. And the eye is still using divination magic. It may be that the eye can't predict yeah. what Zira, Zarkira does. Um, mm. A powerful spellcast mm. like her. Sorry. Maybe. How Stop, about, yeah. chat? You don't worry about it, and you just yeah. leave it to yeah. us, and we'll tell what you happens, what happens. What happened happens. Yeah, I will say, yeah. <laughs> there's been a lot of debating about it in the last week, and I will say, the eye is not infallible. Like, it, I know it's mm -hmm. become this uh, very important, me? powerful tool we use, but it's not... Uh, no. It's it is not, not the be-all and end-all. Yep. Mm. Uh, yeah, it is. It, which yeah, it is. sends into question, uh, is what Cool saw about Callus's plan even correct? Who knows? Yeah, um, it is. A lot dun, of dun, dun. What? Yeah, no, it is. But yeah, actually. my big it's, thing is true. I always say this about a lot of things. Try not to stress about stuff like that. First of all, we do make mistakes. I make mistakes a lot. I forget things. Things get slipped under. It's a chaotic thing. Don't worry about it. Like, at the end of the day, we're all telling a cool story. Nobody's out. To, I'm not out to get them. I'm not trying to screw them over. You know, we're just trying to have a cool, fun story. But there are things in the world, like Kim says, the eye is infallible. There are many reasons why the eye might not work. Uh, many reasons why certain spells might not work. You might even notice in this battle, Zarkira can cast two concentration spells, like Quill can. Huh, that's weird. Normally you can't do that in D&D. Some things are special, and just try not to worry about it. Enjoy the show. Um, yeah. And if we get also, any of our abilities wrong too... Don't worry about it. Don't really care that much. Yeah. Can it be honest? Yeah, and asking questions is fine. Asking questions and theorizing is fine. That stuff is great for the Discord and the Reddit. I would ask, don't put it in the donation messages, just because, like, otherwise it just derails the game a little bit. Like, worry also, about it in the Discord. If, you guys can think all, about it. If all six people on the screen are in agreement and having a good time in the game, mm -hmm. that's, that's, that's it. That's the end that's of cool. it. <laughs> that's, that's cool. There's no more discussion after that. Of, <laughs> yeah. And speaking of, why don't we get back to it? Um, Hell yeah. As Hell things yeah. are pretty intense, and I want to make sure that we Did try Tom have a chance to go? Oh, no, you sound pretty on, weird. I'm, you do, you do sound different. Am I right now? now? Hello. Oh, yeah, there's two actually, mics there. doubled up. You've got an echo, yeah. yeah. Hi. He knows, he knows. Right. Uh, so. <laughs> oh, trotty two mics. Uh, with all of that, Trot, Tom, do you want to go? Yeah, do you need to take a quick second? You I good? will. You carry on. All right. Okay. Yeah, because it's Quill's, Quill's only just had his turn, so he's got a whole turn to go. So, Sentry. Uh, we jump to You're Sentry uh, as we return the fight. Most of these threats, most of the actual threats that we're here in Gusthaven have been dealt with now. Um, you can't, there's maybe a couple of these electrified soldiers. There's a couple of these flying creatures still roaming around. The other dragon has been banished by, by Quill's future self. Um, the biggest threat now is Zarkira herself and this strange metal spider that has been conjured uh, and is chasing down uh, Quill. Um, mm. It is centuries ago. The uh, wolf pack member next to me, how how bad is he looking? So, uh, I did make a saving throw. You can see he's, like, struggling. You can see he's, like, snarling. His ears are, like, flat against his head. He's, like, long, uh, kind of furry hair, um, tails down low, and he's, like, struggling. Like, like he's mentally trying to resist some sort of effect. Um, but you can see that the petrification is slowly crawling up of his arm. Kamara mm -hmm. is like looking over, just like ah, and she's like gonna about to rush to to their aid, but you're not sure if they're gonna be able to do anything. Okay, can I use uh my where are I where'd you go? My cleansing touch ability. Um, so I can use oh. my action to end one spell on myself or on one willing que creature that you touch three t times per long rest. I will say that you can absolutely do that. So you reach out, you lay your hands on the, the Wolfpack member, you summon the energy of the Matrix and, and surging that kind of divine magic that's within your body through this thing, you flush out whatever spells Arkira had and it breaks it away. And you see the stone flaking off their, their hands and their fur and they're just like, oh, oh Sentry, thank you. Uh, as he looks around and then he's kind of drawing his weapons. You see Zarkira just kind of shake her head, just be like, you had the perfect opportunity to attack me, yet you saved this insignificant individual. Why? Um, he's not insignificant. He's part of all of us. 
And this Get is why you shit. will lose. Uh, and it, Sentry, you've got a move uh, and a bonus action left. Um, I'm gonna move. Um, oh, where do I? Um, I'm gonna stay where I am. I like where I am. I'm panicking because Zakir is like right there. <laughs> um, bonus actions. Okay, cool. Yeah, I will. Um, bonus action: cast Shield of Faith um, on myself and give myself a plus two AC. Okay. And I'll stay right where okay. I am. Okay. Uh, bum, 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 bum. Okay. At the end of your turn, Zakir is going to take another legendary action. Cast it to a third level. Tasha's mind whip is really good. It's really, really good. <laughs> uh, Sixty feet. Let's see, you're too far away. Sentry and Ayla are such big threats. I think she would use it on you two again. I need Sentry and Ayla to make another intelligent saving throw. Oh, all right. It's a new round. I know. This is yeah. So this is. Failure. She just had her turn, so she got Failure. her reaction back. Counter spell. Ah, well, technically her counter spells come back as well. Ha um, has it? This is it's on a different. Yeah, a reactions come back at the start of your uh, start of your turn, and she just took her turn on. Oh no, wait, because she used it on her turn. So yeah, no, it hasn't come back. Okay. But yeah. Also, so uh, what level? What level counter spell? Oh, that's true. Your turn hasn't come back up, Lucius. You don't have a reaction to counter spell. Well, sorry. You got to wait till the start of your next turn. No, it's well remembered, Tom. Yeah, no, it's being fair. Um, so yeah, intelligence saving throws, Ayla and Sentry, please. Yeah, I failed. That guy! <laughs> Fail. You both take 3d6 uh, psychic damage. This time, Ayla, you're still within Sentry's aura, so it's halved. So that's only seven points of psychic, so half to three, but the bigger thing is no reactions, and you either get a move, an action, or a bonus action next turn. That's it. Cool. Um, yeah, unfortunately, that's in her mind, that's the smartest thing for her to do. The two flyers uh, who have been doggedly pursuing Quill are going to do the same thing. Uh, they They're are going to fly 40 me. feet. Yes, sir, they are. Man, I am tanking hard. <laughs> hit me. Hit me. See if you can hit, hit me. me. Hit me. Now. Hit me. <laughs> yeah, but they're flying too. Yes, they are yeah, also but... flying. They're flying. That's why they're <laughs> flying diagonally up, so they stay within range. So, uh, Quill, you have uh, an acid spit coming your way, followed by a javelin. First acid spit is a 16 to hit. Shit. Uh, I'll shield. Okay, shield activates. Javelin. Uh, 11 to hit. Misses. Bounces off the shield. Second acid spit. That's Kirk. Cocked. Uh, it's a miss. And then the second javelin is a 19. Uh, still miss. Still miss. So the shield, you conjure the shield. Bing, 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 as this acid sprays are like, you know, trying to get to you <laughs> as you're trying to just oh. barely hold them off. Um, remember, that shield stays up until the start of your next turn as well. So any other attacks, that still benefits you. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Uh, great spell. Thalia still has to wait for the, the twin star, but you hear her shouting like down like, Nova! It would be a very good idea if we could get moving now. And she's just like shouting down, Carry big cat, get ready. And that's all she can really do is ready her action to take off once uh, enabled. Chardling dragon, still banished. Retriever, though. So you said, Quill, you were 50 feet up, yes? Ye yes. Uh-oh. Oh, it's got okay. 60 feet of range. But I've only had 50 feet of movement, so either way. Well, it's also going to. Wow, wow. Also going it to jump. Runs feet up in the to the, the rear mast and it climbs thirty feet up the rear oh, mast crap. as well, uh, putting it twenty feet away, which is annoyingly just out of range of its melee attacks. Um, <laughs> this is like the opposite of Godzilla now. <laughs> oh no, wait! It's kind of exactly like Godzilla. I'm a plane <laughs> and he's trying to swap me out of the air. <laughs> <laughs> and then it's going to spit King Kong, fine yeah. <laughs> filament Kong. webs yeah. out of its mouth. Tom, I need you to make what? a dex saving uh, throw. Uh oh. Filament webs? Uh, <laughs> dex save. Okay. Now it's more like Mothra. Oh, 20. Okay, you, with your messenger guild flying, you manage to avoid this kind of spray of webs. 
uh, erupts uh, out everywhere, and you see it kind of I turning its head. To avoid it. No, no emotion, <laughs> but you get the sense that this thing is getting frustrated that it can't quite reach its prey. Um, Cut the webs with yeah, my metallic wings, that's, like the falcon. That's its action. <laughs> uh, they are all dead, except for this one guy who is revealed from the blindness. Five, ten. 15, 20, 25, 30. He's going to dash. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. Comes Here running comes. along the docks. The other one is going to make a saving throw. <laughs> Fails. <laughs> Pretty much. Does he just, uh, like, walk into the water? Uh, no. Uh, at the top of the round, the crew is a little bit uh, diminished and stunned by everything that's going on. Um, looking at the two kind of threats... I mean, they've seen Zarkir in action before. Do you want them to target the spider creature, or do you want them to try and target uh, Zarkira? Now, they've got these callous uh, laser... Force beam rifles, guns. Force yes, beam these guns. force rifle rifles. Yeah. I think Lucius might direct them at Zarkira. Okay. Yeah, so you kind of, like, call out a command, arise, just like, oh, fire on the sorceress, and she points down. Uh, they all turn, Zarkira as well. Zarkira's kind of, like, trying to fend off this giant spider thing that's run up past her as well. Um, all of them fire, and you just see the bolts of force are just absorbed by some sort of barrier around Zarkira. Trying to use our own weapons against us. I appreciate the ingenuity, um, but they don't seem to have any effect against Zarkira herself. That's a full-blown sphere of nothingness. Nothing gets through. Uh, Ayla. Yeah. Sphere of nope. <laughs> yeah. I can't do shit. Everything's... <sighs> Nothing's getting she through to her. There's nothing else to hit. <laughs> so Is you've got the... a move, an action, or a bonus action. Oh, yeah. I don't even have... Ugh. Um... Can I take a couple of shots with a bow at the spider? Because I can't get to it and sure. hit it. So I'll sure, just I'd say that part of the attack action is you ring. pulling out the bow. Yeah, you can kind of, uh, even though your mind's addled by this spell, you manage to kind of pull out the bow, blink focus, and try to take a couple of shots towards this uh, spider creature. Um, that's probably not going to hit. That's uh, 18, maybe? 18 will not hit, unfortunately. Nope. The arrow pings off its metal carapace. Uh, 23. That will hit, however. And is this, uh, the bow's magic, is it magic or has it got magic arrows? Magic arrows. Magic yeah, arrows. Right. Yes. Magic arrows. <laughs> uh, can't speak. Uh, seven points of damage. Woo, big damage. Seven points. The uh, second one does manage to find some purchase. Doesn't seem to have a huge effect on the creature, but it definitely still strikes true. Um, Can't do anything, anything. else, Ayla? Um, That's pretty much yeah. End of your turn. Uh, just messenger ring. I can't hurt her. Nothing's getting through. We need to help other people. What's our strategy? Nova. Nova, where the hell are you? <laughs> just dealing with a little problem trying to board this ship. Be with you in a second. Um, can I? Obviously, I'm in the engine room now. Can I? Uh, I'm guessing it, I've probably seen this before in managing the engines that they're just off, right? And they need a kickstart. So I'm. Um... <laughs> they need like a burst of magical energy to kind of. You know that the infernal engines on the Twin Star, they're literally like bound infernal creatures. Uh, these are like some sort of like devil or demon that have been kind of bound, kind of similar to how the Eterna are, are bound to other ships. Um, they're bound into these engines. Uh, they generally work because they're angry and they're, it's like they're asleep. You need something, you need a magical energy to like wake them up. Um, so you can either do yeah, that I by will. channeling like a spell slot in or, or like channeling a spell of a damaging spell into them um, and making an arcana check or you can try something else if you wish. Can I ask them real nicely? Um, no, I'm gonna, I'm gonna... Um, you could certainly try. Hands. Would, a, uh, would an Eldritch Blast be enough or is it like a spell slot? We need like This a would need to be a spell slot. Yeah, this is, like needs that. to be a fifth level okay. spell slot or higher. Yeah. 
I'm gonna put my hands on the engines and blast them with something. Uh, I don't know a specific, if it needs a specific it spell or just uh, It doesn't need a specific spell, it's just the energy of the spell slot itself, which represents the magical power of the, the spell energy. Uh, you place your hands on, like, these kind of, like, you know, crystalline controls, um, and you channel the magic in, and you begin to feel this intense, fiery warmth beginning to swell up. Can you make a deck save for me? Yes. Whoop. 16 plus 3 is a 19. You just managed to kind of like throw yourself back as the engines erupt in this like infernal flame. And you see the power, the lines on the gauges, the switches, all the crystals begin lighting up as the power surges through the twin star. You hear a kind of like excellent work darling and then you just hear a and you feel like some force kind of throw you back as the whole twin star kicks off the rest of you hear a massive uh kind of cracking and breaking as the roof of the warehouse itself breaks off and the twin star comes blasting out the top of it um revealing the fine astral ship uh ready and willing cool but that's all that happens uh, on Nova's turn, because that's going to pretty much be your action uh, move and everything else to get the, the Twin Star operational. Uh, Lucius. I'm going to cast Chromatic Orb on one of the little annoying fly things that are attacking Quill and also the spider struct constructy creature. Uh, You're going to twin spell it? it? Twinning it. Yeah. Okay. Uh, sure. And as my bonus action, I'm going to consume a spell slot to regain some sorcery points. Okay. Uh, so, let's do the time warp again. Third level chromatic orb with... Yeah, two attack rolls. Hold. Two separate targets. Okay. Not acid, because I saw one of them was doing acid, so... Ding dong. Here we go. That's a nat one. Eleven. The first one, the flyer manages to kind of <laughs> tuck themselves out of the way as the orb goes flying past them. Uh, you need to roll a second second attack roll for the, 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 the spider creature, the retriever. I feel bad for 22. Hey. That will hit the retriever, however. Uh, so the, the flyer manages to dodge out of the way, which is probably the least, the less of the two threats, but the spider creature is impacted greatly. And you said cold damage? Yes. Okay. And, How much damage? Uh, 29. 20 uh, let me double check. Damage. There's no ones in there because I'm an adept. Nope. All good. Okay. All good. So yeah, you see the cold kind of splash against the retriever's back and it kind of parts it begins slowing down. It kind of creaks as it breaks free of the rime and frost that's built up around its core now. But yeah, definitely leaving some damage on the creature's uh, exoskeleton. Yes. And then eight points of dichromancy back on the person I missed. Now, what's the range on Dichromancy, Chris Drop? 2,000 feet. Because I oh, think I it's 60 feet. My, I did actually want to move myself, but I've already cast well, that's a spell what, yeah, from there, you... so don't worry. No, no, you can move. You can move. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I want to be within the aura range as well. Ah, piss. All right, never mind. It's still out. No, you're still within range. Oh, is it 30 feet for Dichromancy? 30, yeah. Ah, I could not. hit. So, yeah, uh, it's not going to hit. Never mind. Okay, Do you want to try? try? I'll throw it in her direction just to show that I'm angry. So here's an interesting thing. Oh. Dichromancy itself isn't a spell. It is uh, an effect of the arcane chromat's magic. So I would say, how much damage would this be? 2,000, I think, is what I said. Can you give me serious answers, please? Eight. <laughs> Eight points, thank you. Uh, as funny as you are with your hilarious damage stories, it was pretty funny. <laughs> you watch as the the, cro the, di the chromatic orbs spin out. One of them goes wide, but the other one strikes the creature, and then pulling that blue energy, you, in a kind of thinking it futile, you throw it Zarkira's way. Whatever globe, whatever sphere is around her, the spell manages to penetrate it, and it does kind of like skip past her arm, causing like a jagged wound. Uh, how curious. You will make an excellent specimen for my research. Uh, she does look, lock eyes on you, kind of, hmm, how interesting. Um, but yeah, it does oh. have an effect. Oh. We need oh. to do something quick. Uh, I'm just shouting. 
whether we move. Yeah. It's it's only been like six seconds, but you know you, that me the messages you both received are were very panicked. They were like, "We need help." Um, Araya, when I get it, start the storm chaser regardless. Hi, Captain, and she starts calling out orders. Uh, this will diminish your ability to fight with the crew because the crew have to prepare the ship, so this reduces it by about half. So about half the crew uh, start running over to prepare um, their jobs and things like that. I hate playing on Chrome because it's just crashed again, but we'll get there. Uh, they start doing all of that. Next up after the crew, I'll have the crew do that in the background, so they begin preparing to lift the Storm Chaser off. Uh, after that, it is Azaria Perel's go. Cool. It's your flyover. The scan move again. No, not this time. Scan. <laughs> she calls out. <laughs> How very interesting. This is not the real version of Zarkira. This appears to be some sort of creation. Uh, then stop it! <laughs> Zarkira kind of like looks up. <laughs> How curious. And she kind of looks down. Would you be interested perhaps in negotiations? I find your creation most fascinating. Uh, she, Zarkira turns around and says like, indeed, you seem to be a woman of talent yourself. Come here, help me against these individuals and a discussion can be made. Ah, oh, your offer is quite tempting. Zarya will. However. Fly next to Zarkira. Uh, let us have a moment of peace to talk. And she conjures a wall of force in a sphere around her and Zarkira. I mean... Come on! Rel? <laughs> come on! I mean, Feel it like kind of works Rel. in this current this instance. For now. Um, so long as that. I mean, I still, yeah, I still need to focus on this crab uh, thing. So, how much mast is there? Like, it's thirty feet up. Uh, yeah. I mean, the mast is gonna have to be like 30, 40 feet, right? Like, or like, you know, it's gonna be quite tall for a ship. I don't know how tall a mast on a ship is, but I imagine it's like so it's at least thirty, forty top. feet. Yeah, it's near the top for sure. All right. Um, I want to fly down within 15 feet of this crab um, and I want to lightning lure it off the mast and have it fall. Okay. Um, so it needs to make a strength save. How strong does this you're, thing look? So you're going you strong, 15 right? feet away from it. You're going 15 yes. feet away from it, yeah? Yep, okay. So, so you fly down, summon the lightning and you're going to try and pull it off. So strength save from, my, from me. I want, I, want to, I want to pull off this uh, crab. Strength save from you. 23. Nah. Uh, right. <laughs> nah. Uh, so you kind of, the lightning tries to attach this thing. You try to tug. This thing does not move. It just grips the mast tightly. Uh, cool. All right. That's fine. Uh, Somebody's saying century... that the ship mast is like 170 feet or something daft. So. <laughs> ah, whatever. Um, is Sentry still under the effect of this mind lash thing? I mean, as far as you know, she was hit by some sort of spell and does seem to be a little addled by it, yes. Okay, well, I'm going to healing word uh, sentry at uh, Are you within range? level. It's 60, it 60 feet? feet. Oh, okay, yeah. I keep forgetting healing word 60 feet. I always have 30 feet in my head for healing word, but... Yeah, I, I am 15 up, I guess. I, guess yeah. I, I think it's an older edition it. thing. I think fourth edition it was 30 feet or something. Um, okay, um, cool. So 44 plus 6. Uh, healing. Uh, so 16 healing, but if the spell is less than 4th, I believe that will cure it. Oh no, I can just end one spell uh, yep. against Sentry. So yeah, I sure. just get rid of I'd that. So that you can end the effect of Tasha's Mind Whip, yeah. So Sentry, you're kind of, you, your senses come back too. You you realize that, yeah, you, you can act fully uh, as the, the clouded kind of visions, these like vis misty visions that Zarkira conjured uh, dissipate and you find your body acts as, as you wish once again. Nice. Thank you. Awesome. Good turn. Bam. Bam. Good turn. End bam, of your turn, Quill. from me. That's me. That's all my go. All I got. That's all she wrote. 
Apparently I rolled d6s, mm. so you don't heal 16. Okay. Are they swapping instead. jelly recipes? Okay. Is that's what's happening? Maybe. It is, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> I, use, I use bone mush in mine. Oh, really? That's Animal great. bones or human bones? <laughs> I use crab bones. Oh, crab bones. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You've ever had kind of Kadar touch you crab? Like to use? <laughs> like, what kind of. Disgusting. What kind of shape mold do you like? You're gonna hate me, Katie. Oh. You're gonna really hate me, but I need you to make a wisdom saving throw for me as Akira clearly casts some sort of spell. Um, seems that she only needs to be able to see the spell. target. You are dominate personed. Uh, while Bye, the target guys. is charmed, telepathic thing. Uh, attack Lucius, please, um, is the command, is attack the sorcerer. Knock, knock the sorcerer out is the actual exact quote. Uh, so you don't That's need to nice kill Lucius, her. but you do need to knock him out. Does she actually um, say what now well? or on my turn? Uh, this would be on your turn. So you have to okay. obey its telepathic commands on your turn, basically. Yeah, good um, luck, guys. And then that's it. And then sentry. All right, go. it's Lucius. Uh, I won't hit it. Okie dokie. I would like to... Only me. Go up to Ayla and use my cleansing touch ability on Ayla and end the spell. So you see, <laughs> you see Ayla's like eyes become smoky purple mist as like she raises the hammer and begins walking towards Lucius uh, under this command. Sentry turns around, runs over, plants a hand on her, and you just watch as the the smoke burns oh. away by the light of the matrix. That would have been bad. Um, I have a plus thirteen to hit, so Lucius would have definitely been hit. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you watch a sentry just here. burns this away. Um, did, did something you watch almost happen? <laughs> Zarkiria's uh, eyes. Sorry, Lucius. Eyes. Mm, narrow. Uh, hasn't taken her legendary action yet. Though. We actually see them. Or are they it. in like a opaque? No, so yeah. they're in like an invisible. No, it's not opaque. You can see them. You don't actually technically see the wall of force, but because you guys have seen the spell before, I think you would recognize Azaria conjuring this sphere around the both of them. Um, and they are talking uh there's like some sort of muted conversation between the two but you don't hear it um muted you just eh? see azaria kind of thing oh that's true actually quill uh yeah i guess you are being attacked by a giant spider thing um make yeah, a I, perception I look, check for me i can look directly into perception check you say yeah, okay mark make a perception check. <laughs> All right. I mean, you might roll a one. You might roll a one. No, I won't. You might roll like trash. Don't say that. No, I won't. Watch this. 21. He's, he's, 21. I mean, you can make out. You are being distracted by battle. Like, you're kind of, like, trying to make out bits of it. Um, you you definitely see Zarkira's lips say the words, valuable offer, uh, Magitech power, yours. Uh, Azaria says something along the lines of, interesting, fully funded, unlimited resources and there's a kind of like hmm there's like some debate going on that's the conversation they've had so far well <laughs> she's lost well quill two of these creatures that have been hounding you continue their absolute rabid assault <laughs> yeah <laughs> i'm not giving up you forget about these things 22 acid spit that'll hit regardless of shield Wow! Finally! <laughs> Two, five, nine, twelve acid damage and a concentration check, please. Okay, uh, concentration. Uh, eight plus two, ten. Uh, you took twelve damage, that's just a success. Yep, that's literally the DC you needed. Javelin! Uh, that's going to be a fourteen to hit. Nope. Next acid, 14 to hit. Miss. Nope. Next javelin, 19 to hit. Ooh. Oh. Yeah, it's not worth shielding for that. Go on. Do it. Do me. Ooh. Do me, Mark. If a dragon Eight pops back into existence after you and said that. And a concentration that. check. If he rolls a one now, I'm going to lose my shit. You can lose your shit. You can lose it all you want. <laughs> uh, 13. I have a backup <laughs> concentration, awesome. remember? Expeditious retreat. Can't get through. Oh, you do. Got Can't get through my banish. Is a concentration. Yeah, I thought you only had the one concentration up. Uh, well, these guys are slowly trying to chip away at you, uh, trying to annoy you. 
the twin star <laughs> launches out of the i'm not going to be able to put a miniature down uh, or a token down for it but it, the the twin star launches out the twin star is a very very large ship uh it's turrets it, to be able to target like small individuals it can do um the other option is do you want it to go and help one of your other allies now the twin star we... will make a huge difference if you send it to another zone if it well, goes to because because i could what I messenger can't... Oh, yeah when when that message when n when the message came through to quill it came through to quill but did we i heard that people talking about it yeah okay um I believe Lucius so... and Quill both would have messenger ringed to let everyone know what was yeah, going on. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I think we did. I've said so for the first, about so, Moonstar but on the Druid, yes. Yeah. Yeah, Nova's probably still in the engine room, though, at this point, right? So she can't mm -hmm. see, or can she see what's happening on the battlefield? You won't, not um, from the engine room, no. You'd have to be up in the cockpit, or the turrets. Okay. But I'll know that Zarkir is here, right? You did know that, yeah. Uh, the messenger ringed is, you that as well. The other option is Nova Thalia could tell... Thalia what to do and then get out of the twin star like you could you could portal out of the twin star and join your friends or you can stay in the twin star i kind of feel like staying in the twin star because like it's gonna need an engineer like as well as like guns and stuff like that um maybe possibly um possibly just go to space Ooh, i don't know see ya can't. I might just go to space. Just, just, just go Mary wherever Zarkir is um, not, you know. Not a new life. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> uh, oh, shit. Uh, I will messenger ring and uh, say that. Um, <laughs> okay. Do you need air support or shall I go to the prince? Go to the prince. I mean, we could mm. do with you, but Twin Star could go elsewhere. Um. So plan over. Do I have? I used, I used Dimension Door. I could use my portal, but that's a big spell for jumping out in it. Um. Oh, I have a, I have a Featherfall token. I have a goddamn featherfall token. You can literally um, just jump so out. So I am going. I am going to instruct Thalia. Um, Thalia, uh, d darling, uh, could you go uh, and help the, the the prince? I'm gonna help these guys. Bye. And then jump so I'm out. I'm assuming you're you're saying side. this as you're like running to the like where the the drop out like where the door into the cockpit and stuff is. So you see Thalia basically like turns around in the cockpit, just kind of gives you a wink and blows a kiss and says, "Leave it to me, darling. I'll deal with these dragons." Uh, and then you jump out and you activate the flavor token. You are gonna be falling for some time as the twin star obviously is like quite high. You're gonna be about like 80 feet up in the air, slowly descending down. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, the twin star. While I'm... <laughs> will blast towards I can, uh I can levitate technically this is Thalia's turn so um, this isn't your turn Nova we'll say that this oh, yeah. is what you're okay. going to do on your turn okay so Just that'll be what you do again. on your turn the Nova bullet is back again and land right. on Zarkira so Thal <laughs> is preparing to head towards to help with the prince Nova on her turn is going to jump out and join you guys the twin star basically gets itself positions itself um, over the, the airship uh, I guess Kyrie would take a shot at something. Um, I don't think she would know who Zarkira is, but she sees the giant spider thing trying to go for Quill, and I think she would try and blast the retriever. Um, she misses, unfortunately. The blast is just goes wide. The twin star's like a little unstable. The turret blast just goes uh, too wide, and Kyrie uh, doesn't manage to land the hit. Uh, so that is on Thalia's turn. Quill, on your turn, the giant spider creature, you're flying about 15 feet away from it. Uh, this thing is going to jump at you and basically make two attacks midair and then use one of its beams on you. Oh, shit. Okay. First That's four up. leg. <clears throat> 28. Good. <laughs> yeah, that one hit. Oh, dear. 16 points oh, of damage no. and a concentration check, please. Uh, okay. 
Easy Whoa, Okay, uh, my Expeditious Retreat is gone. Expeditious Retreat goes. Second four-leg attack is a 26 to hit. <laughs> yeah. Uh, that's not a high amount of damage. That's only going to be uh, nine points of damage, but another concentration save, please. Uh-huh. Uh... Hey, 12. Hey, so oh. saves. And then I need you to make a constitution saving throw as it is going to fire a paralyzing beam from its second eye. Um, okay. Let's check oh, his portals. 11? You are portal. paralyzed. Uh, paralyzed creature is incapacitated, which I believe also ends concentration. You can't move ooh, or speak. The creature automatically fails strength and dex saving throws. Uh, attack rolls against the creature have advantage. Any attack that hits the creature is a critical hit. Uh, I will check. And let's find I'm out flying. on D&D Beyond. Concentration. Uh, I mean, you're going to take some fall damage, that's for sure. Um, it says I can't take actions or reactions uh, for incapacitated. That's it. I'm going to look at specifically uh, spells. Also, it's my oh, boy God. Future Quill, who's... Uh, older than that one. Future Quill is still you. It still uh, takes things from concentration. Concentration. Yeah, in being incapacitated or killed. You lose concentration of a spell if you are incapacitated or if you die. Now, so. is that incapacitated in the zero health sense or incapacitated in the... No, that's in incapacitated the... the condition which you are. So, well, a couple of things happen. Well, for Robin. Do you okay. look for the full token? Do you, that's a very important question, actually. Because otherwise you're going to take oh. some full damage. Why would I need one? I can fly. <laughs> okay. So, uh, seven points of bludgeoning damage as you land from the fall. Uh, as you are incapacitated and can't grab something, I'm going to roll a 50-50 percentile to see which side of the deck you bounce off of because you are currently on the very edge of the airship. 50, 49 or lower, the bad side. You watch as Quill spills down the side of the airship, completely paralyzed, and begins plummeting Fuck! to nothing. Uh, no! The retriever also takes okay. some falling damage, but lands on the very edge uh, and is looking down towards Quill. It will use the rest of I... its movement to jump after Quill. And it's sailing that through the air. Uh, you are paralyzed a for a minute. Thing? You can repeat the saving throw at the end of each turn, ending okay. the effect on a success. Okay. Uh, this thing is chasing after you, like free falling with you in a desperate attempt to try and chase after you. Uh, yeah, and also Banish is uh, up. Banish also ends. So <laughs> those of you watch as another one of I these giant everything. dragons comes back into existence after the retrievers go <laughs> this one little shocky boy he's <laughs> 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 gonna jump up Here onto the ship is. and attacks the wolf pack crew he misses he misses again <laughs> the wolf pack crew is fighting him off like ah, get away uh blasting away as he tries to desperately get up was the, does the other one save no, the other one is still blind. At this point, it's just hiding in a corner. Uh, we go to the top of the round. Ayla. You're muted, I think. Muted, I think. Yeah. No, I'm counting. No, oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Two comes after one. Can I... Ooh, since I can't do anything in this vicinity, I'm going to run to the edge of the ship and use my jump charge to get across to this dragon boy. Yep. And I'm going to smack it a couple times. Just leap through the air. Best. Hammer coming down. Absolutely. Because that is the best use of my time. I mean, it's uh, a ooh, threat. Like, this is 13. what Ayla's meant to do. That's a hit. Faux show. Sure. Um, 
So that is going to be 15 from the hammer. 15. And Second then uh, that is a 14 plus. Th- I just lost my brain. Plus 13. Plus 13. 14 plus 13. <laughs> That's 27. That hits. Jesus Christ. I was like, four and three were mixed up in my head. Um, 13 on the hammer for that one, and then deck save. And then deck save for the big dragon. It's a plus zero. 14. 11 points of lightning damage. Points of lightning damage. With three, with two blows and the blast of lightning, you tear chunks of this dragon's armor off, just ripping into it as shards of its armor plating just fly off into the dock, smashing crates around you. Uh, already, it's kind of rearing back, surprised at the violence uh, from this threat. Um, that's the end of your turn, right? Because that's pretty much everything yes. Ayla, Ayla's got. So Nova, this is when you jump out featherfall token activates i mean you're 80 i'd say you're like you're like 80 feet up in the air you still have your action and bonus action though you're just very slowly drifting down so <laughs> i see quill fall right and he is falling off the side of the island yes um... i would say the only the problem is is that there's he's falling but this giant metal spider is falling basically next to him and like it's mm-hmm. it's difficult to see where like trying to pull the two apart because this spider is basically falling on top of him. Mm-hmm. Um, but you can see them both falling, yes. Is there a way... Is there a way for me to free fall fast enough to catch up with Quill? Um, you can't You can't yeah. go faster than they're already falling. You're going to be behind them, unfortunately. I have a second question. It, it, what if I did something crazy like activated Tomb of the Vistas to make me heavier? Hmm. But then no. I mean, I know that there's going to be scientists out there who are like, ah, oh, the, the terminal velocity yeah. of all objects is the same, so it doesn't matter. But I would say that it would definitely help because Quill is also a bird, so his like body is kind of a bit lighter. A paralyzed the the bird. spider's kind of following behind him. Like, yeah, I'd, I'd say maybe it's you like might be able to. <laughs> it would certainly speed you up. You probably won't My... be able to reach him this turn, but maybe next turn. My other. My other option, idea, is, but I don't know if there's anything I can anchor on this on, is creating an arcane gate, but it says choose two points on the ground. Now, last time we did this, I cast it on the ocean, but, so I presume there's I would say I ocean and, ocean and open air are a little different, though. I would mm. say casting it in the middle, because otherwise you could go, I put a portal beneath Zarkira, and then the other one on the moon. Or like you know, or like a hundred feet up in the air, you know. I'd say that uh, it's a little bit different. That'd be great. So let's just do it that. Be Rule, great. Of cool. Rule of great, cool. Rule of cool. Rule of cool. That would be lush. Um, I would. I'm, I'm gonna to have that. to. I'm gonna have to argue that's a no yeah. from me, fam. Is is cloud? Is he? Oh, is he? Has he fallen further than the bottom of the storm chaser? Like, could I attach it to the side of the storm chaser and he falls through that? He, if you attached it to the side, he'd just go straight past it because he's going yeah. down. <laughs> the portal would be on the side. Okay, he's going down. Yeah. Yeah, he's yeah. going okay. whoo, it was down. an idea. Like okay, now. look, yeah. I'm I'm right. trying my best here. I'm trying to save this little boy. Um, what is uh? Mine. I'll just play. Perry does Quill again. get a saving throw at the end of his turns? No, at the end of his turn, he does to get out of the paralysis. He could yes. wake up and fly. Ooh. Yeah. Can I cast levitate on him, please? Um, it is a sixty-foot range. He's and out of I, range. I have seen he's him. He's out of range. He's out you're, of range. You're eighty feet. Right. You're eighty feet up, and he's like thirty feet down. What if I don't activate the featherfall token because y- you can choose when to activate it? So I drop fast enough that he's within range. Mm-hmm. At- cast levitate on him and then activate the featherfall. I think we've always said the featherfall tokens activate automatically when you begin falling. We've always said that. They they activate after 20 foot of malarkey. Yeah, Um, but he's still 30 feet down. That's why I put you at 80 feet. I get it, but unfortunately you're not going to get in range for the levitate. Okay, what if I drop, activate levitate on Quill as soon as I see him, I'm within you, you, range. Okay, Kim, you, you, you can't. And right, then... The Featherfall token is activating. You're at 80 feet. There's 80 feet and then 30 activate? feet. You Can can't. No, it it, we've away. always said it activates automatically. We've always said that. Okay. Yeah, you're 110 so feet away at the moment. Dropping. 
What if I just throw it away from me? What if I just leave it on the ship? <laughs> I mean, if you um, want to throw it away and then drop down, maybe you could try that. Because my idea would, my idea would be to drop, cast levitate on Quill as soon as I can, and then at the beginning of my next turn, cast fly on myself. You can try. Keep in mind, Quill yeah. is currently paralyzed. Even if you levitate him, he can't, like, he can't activate that. Or is it you that activates it? It's me that activates it. It's so cool. Gust Haven is says... like 20,000 feet above the ground. I've got time. It is, it is like 10,000, 20,000 feet above the ground. There's a lot of space to fall. I mean, sure. Um, it says one creature within of my choice will raise vertically and say suspended there for the duration. Okay. So it's so, so suspended there. Uh, and then if you get out of range, you won't yeah. be able to lift him up anymore. You'll have to make sure you're within range to control this movement. If you throw away the Featherfall token, if you discard it from your inventory, and then you jump out of the, the Twin Star and you dive down towards mm -hmm. Quill, I would say that you would be able to get within reach to cast Levitate, and then you can hopefully stop whatever is about to happen. But there's a lot of things that could go wrong here. Also, concentration spells. That's a very good point. Levitate and Fly are both concentration spells. You wouldn't be able to manage them oh, both. they are, aren't they? Also, you're about to they take are, damage for landing they? on the ship. Fuck a duck quill. I don't know what to do. Mm. You gotta decide. I want to play Perry. <laughs> <laughs> Stop lying. I don't. I don't. <laughs> I, I need a turn, Quim. I need it. We've gone through all the possibilities. What if I just fly and catch up with him? Um, fly speed is still 60 feet. 30 feet. So 60 feet. So what 60 if I feet, but that's not drop, gonna be enough activate, to fly, him. and just fly to him? No, it's not going to be enough to catch him. Okay. I think, yeah, if he gets uh, another think, turn uh, to drop, he won't. I think divert I mean, your attention you, it, to someone that's not me. I will, uh, as I drop out, I'm going to Eldritch Blast um, the spider. Okay. And uh, So you're going to activate the Featherfall token, now. yeah? So you're going to slow, slow, slow fall. Yeah, might as well. Uh, sure. And Eldritch Blast the spider. Uh, so the first beam is a uh, 23 to hit. 23 hits. Uh, D10. Uh, that is a 8 po points of force damage. 8? Um, yep, from the first one. Second beam is a 15 to hit. That doesn't hit. Bounces off its carapace. Hits me. Okay, and the third one... <laughs> Is, Don't you uh, start. <laughs> Quiet, you. Um, 28 to hit. That hits. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 12 points of damage. Okay. Yeah, both beams hit, but they strike this armored creature's back, and it still is still still going. Uh, you can see it reaching out for Quill. It's trying to like grab him into its spindly arms. Um, so, Nova, you are now descending at a rate of about 20 feet per round uh, as you slow fall down to the deck of the ship. Lucius. Okay. Oh. I'm going to, quite simply, chromatic orb at level 4, the dragon. Okay. With acid. So here we go. Here it comes. Insane. That's a 14 to hit. However, what I'm going to do is use one of my meta magics called Seeking, which allows me to re-roll, and I have to take the oh. re-roll. Oh. Cool. So just re-roll the attack, not the damage. We'll keep the first damage of 25. We oui, we oui. Bonjour. 19. Hey. Oh, she does hit the first one. It, it's about yes. to miss, and then you kind of focus and swirl it back in, almost directing it into play. the side of the dragon. Bam! Uh, right, as you cool. curve the, the chromatic orb into it. The acid splashing all over its body. Twenty-five. There it is. Yeah. As it screams, <laughs> uh, roars in defiance. Anything else, Lucius? Yeah, Dichromancy on Zakira. So that would be nine more points. <laughs> Just chip nine it away. Points. Ah, now this wall is different point. because the wall of force is there. It splashes against oh. the wall of force. Uh, 
as uh and you can see that like they kind of are distracted by this of color orange color across the uh the globe okay uh, um anything else yes my bonus action is to regain a seventh spell slot with nine points oh okay on azaria perel's turn uh, she watches Quill and this creature go flying past. She sees the dragon reappear. She sees the twin star fly off. Uh, and then she holds her hands open. And the wall of force disappears and she steps back. Uh, let's see if I can actually delete this. Wall okay. of force. I can't. Pretend it's not there. She's going to move all the way back. Uh, and then she looks at Zarkir and says, A lovely offer, my dear. But I know a snake when I see one. And then she holds her hands yes. up and she is going to attempt banishment. Yes. Oh! Oh! And that passes oh, through God. a charisma oh, saving Andy throw. Ah, Andy she would have to, she knows that she has Globe of Invulnerability up, which is why she wanted to speak to her in the first place. So she would upcast this to sixth level. So she's actually going to cast banishment at sixth level to bypass the um, protection Ooh. that she has. Oh, hell uh, yeah. So this is a charisma saving throw for Zakira. This is quite high, um, but Azari Perel doesn't necessarily know what kind of uh, numbers she has. That is a 26, which is enough. So you watch as Zakira oh. kind of like, ah, holds up yes. a hand as she like almost feels her form being brought, like blown away. But she's just like, ah, ah, you dare. You thought to betray me. I've got to bloody do the initiatives again. <laughs> Annoyingly. <laughs> um, it keeps crashing. I'm having real problems with my uh, Chrome and stuff today. I'm sorry, everybody. Uh, is it 16? Crazy. But unfortunately, the banishment does not work as Zarkira manages to resist its effects. Um, Holy crap. But, uh, and you see Azaria does look a little bit more nervous, thinking that perhaps that might have been a, a way to get rid of her. Um, but she has stepped back uh, and allowed you all to maneuver in. Um, oh, I know what she should have done instead. Her. No, I'm I'm not gonna change it. I'm not gonna change it because that's that would be dumb. She would be you know she's smarter than me, but real I'm dumb. generous pie will allow you to retcon Mark if you want to. Just the one <laughs> I mean, if you guys are okay with me retconning, yeah. that's I'll do that because you know. Of course, it's... <laughs> Jesus, get rid of her. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, because she would she would attempt to cast a different spell. She would not try and banish her because I think she would know that Azaria. Uh, she she would understand what is kind banishment. of banishment. I just want everyone to know that I am not generous and I do not stand by this move. <laughs> yeah. Okay, good. No, that's good I'm to know, that Quill. Dying. <laughs> rules are rules. Rules are rules. <laughs> she did Demons take her turn. Rejoice. I rolled a saving throw. In fact, you know what? No, I'm going to stick to what she did, but next she knows, you, Zari knows what she's going to do Fuck next you. turn. She knows what she's going to do I'm next time. the high time. roller's heel. <laughs> and we go to the possibly the most important round of all. Uh, it's Quill. It's Quilly boy. So this is at the end of my turn. This so at the end of your start. turn. So you plummet another two hundred feet. I don't even get a turn. Uh, all right. And what is it? I need to make a con Constitution. Uh, let me bring up the. I believe it is Constitution. Yes, for its paralyzing ray. Constitution. Yes. Okay. Well, I have a plus two. Jank Grey, and my portent is two. So... Let's roll. Oh, 15? Still paralyzed. No? Oh, Still paralyzed. Shit. Um, so you just... You're frozen in place, Quill, just feeling yourself free-falling through the air, uh, just seeing this great spider thing chasing after you through open air. Um, oh, yeah. crap. Crap, higher than a 15. Oh, this is going to be tough. This is going to be tough. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Probably fine. Uh, I don't think there's, just, there's nothing I can do with incapacitated, is there? Unfortunately not. You are. Deserve. You can think, you can send messenger ring um, things because that is uh, mental. Uh, so you can send messenger ring commands. Um. Uh, cool. Yeah, now I'm just struggling to get out of this, this mess. Zarkira, uh, on her turn, will look at the dangerous threats of, uh, you know, the fact that, you know, she's now almost surrounded apart from this one dragon. 
uh, on the other side of things. And I think she's going to try and buy herself a bit more time. She turns and the entire upper half of the airship, she raises her hands. She just, in fact, she would look at Azaria Perel. I thought you to be a better spellcaster than that. Allow me to show you what a true mage is capable of. She holds her hands up and the entire back half of the Storm Chaser, she just thrusts her hands up into the air and you all feel gravity shift well. to up. What level of counterspell? Seven. You need to make a roll a d20 and add your charisma. She's casting this at eighth level. D20 plus your charisma. The DC is 18. Is Yeah, 18. 14. Damn it. <laughs> This magic is just it's too strong. As you, you try and like break this spell, but it's just too powerful. I need everybody in that half. So that's uh, Sentry, Lucius, and pretty much most of the crew and Penny to all make strength saving throws, to, uh, dexterity saving throws, sorry. This is to try and grab something uh, like a fixed object, like a part of the ship. Otherwise you are falling up uh, as gravity is reversed and sent oh. up that way. Any aura sentry? Yeah, you get plus three. Plus three. Uh, so, 19 yeah. then. Yeah. Am I in range? 19. I go up? <laughs> no, this is not targeted near you, I'm afraid. Uh, so Nova Quill, uh, Ayla, you are all unaffected by this. Araya and at least some of the, the crew are unaffected by it as well. Um, so below 20, you, you desperately try to grab a piece of the ship, but you just feel yourselves just floating upwards. Um, and you fall at the same rate as everybody else. Uh, so you will reach the top of this spell. Um, yeah, it's a hundred foot high cylinder. God, so you basically reach, you yeah, reach the top of the up. spell and it's like you're just suspended in midair, a hundred feet up in the air on your turn. Sentry. Yeah, you fall up. <laughs> you just whoosh, And then you're like, oh, ah. okay. you're about a hundred feet off the deck of the Storm Chaser. A hundred feet. Mm -hmm. And we can't can't get no we can't get down with like this so you can act you can move but it's like you know the ground swimming. is now the sky yeah well, oh, okay. it's not even swimming it's like gravity has been reversed in this this sphere this cylinder so you mm. are fallen up and you are now pressed up into like the invisible layer of the spell um okay uh, right righty 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 um cool Sunbeam, 60 feet. I'm sure if any of you have feet. a Featherfall token, that would activate, actually. If any of you have a Featherfall token, because you are four. Oh, I do. And in that case, yeah, you, that automatically activates. Same. It gets used. So you are both only 20 feet, but you're slowly falling higher into oh, the air. You're like... Oh, sweet. Mm. Yeah, but you, so you're only okay. about 20 feet off the ground at this point. All right, I'll make my way over here. Okay. It says when you fall at least 20 feet, you descend 60 feet per round. Oh, 60 feet yeah. per round. Okay. Yeah. So instead of falling like 300 feet around, you go at 60 feet around instead. Cool. I thought it was uh, 20 yeah, feet. I'm going to go here. But I don't think uh, even it with activates the... activates when you fall 20. Yeah. yeah, it activates when you fall 20 and then you would start <sighs> falling 60 feet around. So you still wouldn't have been able to get to Quill because it... Would have, wouldn't, you wouldn't have descended further until the next round. Yeah. 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 Okay. So, Sentry. All right. cool. I'm going to sunbeam Zarkira. Yeah, so just in midair, you kind of turn yourself over to face the sky now and just <laughs> open the chest plate and just watch this beam of light come out. What level spell is sunbeam? Uh, level six. <clears throat> then I need to make whatever saving throw is required. It is a 16 con. Con save. Oh, even better. Uh, that is only going to be... Uh, I mean, that's still pretty high. Yeah, that's going to be 26. I rolled very well. Oh, my God. <laughs> but half damage? Half damage, 68. 68. Uh, we'll roll the full amount and then half it. Okay. Uh... Is it 68 normally? What's the, what's the spell say? Yes, this uh, creature takes 68 radiant damage okay. and is blinded and then I to half next it. turn. Yeah. Okay, All right. So yeah, roll 68 and then I'll, I'll take half. It's 29 halved. Oh, wait, no. 20, yeah. That's 78. Sorry. You've that's rolled there. Yeah, Sorry. so uh, 27 halved would be... 
13? Yeah. Yeah. Throw it down here. You watch as Zarkira does manage to kind of like shield herself, the like kind of holds up her arm or like kind of resists some of this radiant light burning down. She does need to make a concentration check. Uh, that's cocked. That's a natural two. So you watch as this some sort of spell effect ends on her uh, as she is no longer constant. In fact, the reverse gravity would end because that's also that's the first concentration spell she has active. So, right. <laughs> Lucius and Sentry only fall 20 feet because you had only, you would it, it, you'd fall in 20 feet and then you'd slowly started descending. So you both take four points of bludgeoning damage as you slam back down onto the ground. Okay. Um, the rest of the crew, I'm going to probably say are knocked out by this because they're falling like 100 feet. <laughs> they're like, oh, and then they come slamming down as a concentration on the reverse gravity ends. Uh, whether or not they're dead, that's going to be whether they get healed or not. But yeah, they kind of <laughs> will slam down onto the ground um, as they do so. Did all her concentration yeah. end? Uh, no, very much like Quill, she gets to pick which one of the two ends. Okay. Um, and so she elected for the reverse uh, gravity spell to end, not her Globe of Invulnerability. Um, but she only has one concentration spell up now. Uh, oh my god, these two are still fucking alive. Uh, they will fly over <laughs> and attack Sentry. <laughs> yep, they're still here. <laughs> pew, pew, pew. Sentry. Yo. Miss. Miss. <laughs> miss. And a miss. Oh, actually, no. 20? Does 20 hit your I, AC? I got, I've got a shield of faith up, so I've got 22. <laughs> <laughs> these like spits of acid and javelins just bounce off of you as these two guys uh fail thalia flies oh, off in because i took damage i do a con save which yeah, uh fair con plus six uh seven uh, 13. dc 10 you succeed no nope, you succeed okay cool so yeah uh, that misses sorry oh boy of damage here right so, the dragon's turn, Ayla, it is going to, it's just going to try and attack you, I think, at this stage. I think it's just going to try and uh, batter you with its claws and its tail, uh, and its wings as well. Uh, 20 to hit. Anything it's not trying yep. to hit with? No. It's uh, but. Nine. 16 it's slashing tail. damage, so half to 8 because <laughs> you're raging. So eight points of damage. Claw attack number two is a miss. Tail attack is a hit. That's like a 30. Uh, 2d10 plus seven. Uh, God, that's tawful. 11, half to five. Uh, and then its wings uh, is also a miss. Um, so it kind of like batters you a few of these attacks, but you manage to like fend it off, shrugging it off with your, your powerful blows and muscles uh, as it dents. This is the next big one. So the spider creature shit it falls next to quill it grabs you in its arms quill and then it plane shifts with one incapacitated creature which is considered willing for the spell you are no longer falling but you find yourself i'm, I'm not in a, willing uh you it doesn't matter it says if uh one incapacitated creature which is considered willing for the spell oh my god where you find yourself quill in a dark crystal metal room purple energy glowing through its chambers no. you are still paralyzed uh, the retriever will that's that's its action is to plane shift you it's in the goddamn um, name isn't it it's in the goddamn name it's a retriever retriever i'm in an oven so no. <laughs> it's chicken run. <laughs> You're cool. jelly now. <laughs> it was there. This is what I don't want to be a like. pie. <laughs> don't like gravy. You see, it scuffles away from you, Quill. It scuffles away from you uh, and seems to leave, and then some sort of yeah uh, barrier oh. erects around you. Holy oh, God. this is not a good time to want to be a <laughs> oh, oh I forgot by the way 
Uh, you know the little shocker guy that had survived? Yeah, Zarkira made him fly up into the sky and then he died when he crashed down onto the deck as well. Zarkira <laughs> killed him. He just, he finally got up there. He was like, I'm ready to fight. <laughs> <laughs> and then turned to Oh my god. Ayla. Oh. Well, shit. I don't know any of that's happened, so I'm just going to continue thing, hitting a dragon. Point, I think the only one who sees that is Nova. You see this spider, like, kind of fall with Quill, and then they just vanish. Oh my god. Um, well, 18 plus 13. Whoa! And the second hits. one is... Uh, 19. They both hit. Okay. Uh, 12 on the first one. Whoa! Four points of damage. Um, 16 on the second one and a dex of plus. save is a fail it's like three 13 points of lightning damage and with two more heavy blows and the blast of lightning this thing staggers it buckles to one of its knees you can see that parts of its face plating have been ripped off the lightning has scarred it down this thing is nearly dead like with a few of these blows and lucius's spell you've nearly destroyed this secondary dragon um uh nova uh i'm, I'm gonna shout at sarkira where have you taken him? Where has he gone? Oh, excellent. My creature has fulfilled one of its primary missions. Piece of shit. Um, I am going to... Is she within 30 feet of me? I would say if you fall at a rate of 60 feet, sure. Yeah. She's on the top deck of the ship. Okay. Um, I'm gonna Hexblade curse her, cause why not? And, yes. uh, and then I'm going to cast Blight. Um... Blight is at what level? save... Uh... What's my max level now? Five, six, Five, seven? I believe. I don't know, what is it for Warlocks? Five. Five. Um, con save 18. It has no effect. It has no effect. Fuck it's you. It's a spell Fuck of fifth level you. or lower. This just seems to... Erupt around her. Fuck you. <laughs> Carry on. Lucius. <laughs> I'm going to... <sighs> cast Chromatic Orb. Oh, my eye's twitching. <laughs> yep. Uh, I'm going ah. to twin it. Yep. Mark Humes. It's sixth yep. level. Mark. Sixth level. <laughs> Sick. Good. Yes. <laughs> Excellent. What That's targets? It. Zarkira and the dragon. Oh, excellent. Isn't that great? Here it comes. Big boy, where'd it go? <laughs> I lost it. I got all these dice out there for nothing. I got 98 mm. out for nothing. Here we go. It's rolling. That is a... <gasps> 27 to hit, Mark! Oh! Who would you like that one to be against, Chris Trot? Zarkira! Mm -hmm. Please. And then the second attack against the dragon. Here we go, here we go. Roll e20 plus 200. 12. Ah. Ah. Uh, uh, <laughs> can I? <laughs> can, I can, you use, can you use Seeker uh, if you've already uh, used uh, the Meta Magic? Because normally you can only use one Meta Magic per spell. Oh, that's a good point. Uh, well, Seeker might say that you can still use it, though. Some Some allow you to use more than one. You can use Seeking Spell, even if you've already used a different meta magic. There you I've go. got two <laughs> points left to do that, Mark Humes. So, so you can re-roll it on the dragon? Re-rolling sure. on the dragon. D20 44 plus... damage as well. 26, mother chuffers. Oh, Both hit. Nice so a couple of things there. happen. Ayla, you watch the dragon melt. Another wave of Lucius's orange acid just... <laughs> This giant sphere of orange energy blasts into it, just corroding it away, turning it into nothing but slag. Zarkira seems to kind of almost... She considers something for a moment as if raising her hand, and then the death. ball hits her. Yeah. And you see it just like sprays all over across her face. Where it melts her, 
There's no bone or blood. You should see that this should be a grievous wound to her that would have absolutely left, like, terrible scarring across her face. Instead, you see white powder or ice, blue ice, where her flesh and her bones and her blood should be. <sighs> How irritating. Zarkira Prime will have to repair me. Still, we have at least one prize. Yes, Christopher. Right at the end of that sentence, mm -hmm. a wave of 11 points of acid hits her again. <laughs> You just like they see like parts of like her outfit melt away as like the the snow and the ice is left exposed once again. Ah, ah. And you just see her kind of frustrated. Uh, anything else, Lucius, on your turn? Uh, I'm just gonna shout. Where's Quill? Nova, what did you say? The spider. Azaria the spider Perel. took him. Azaria Perel will. She's gonna have to save her big spell for that. Um, Azaria Perel will reach out and just look to you all and say, "She's protected by a sphere of magic. It negates lower level spells. I'm going to dispel it." And then she waves her hands, and you watch as the globe of invulnerability is dispelled. Azaria casts a sixth level um, dispel magic, ending the effect on Zarkira. Uh, awesome. And then she seems to ready herself for something. Quill. Make a saving throw to see if you become unparalyzed. Uh, so, no, I'll save it. I'll do it. Don't worry. Dexterity. Constitution. No, not dexterity. Constitution. Same thing. Anyway, it's a five. I mean, no. Roll, roll it again. Might as well. Uh, Constitution is plus two. It's fine. Oh, okay. Uh, okay. Same so thing. yeah, you are still paralyzed. Um, you feel some sort of sphere of magic encapsulate you. You can hear muttered voices uh, from beyond your vision. That you can't see. That's it. I can't see. Damn it. <laughs> My the, one weakness. The Zarkira <laughs> Simulacrum uh, looks around, seeing her dragon gone, the damage that she's just taken. She holds her hands up to this kind of like jagged face plate crown that she's wearing, and you can see it has gemstones, and one of them begins to glow. She attempts to cast teleport. Azaria Perel will counter spell with her seventh level spell slot. Yes. And you just watch as the teleport fades. And Zara's like, "We only have. I only have one chance. We have to slay it now. Destroy her before she can do it again." Uh, and that's it. That's Akira's turn. Uh, to attempt to count to teleport. Sentry. I'm gonna move up close to the Zarkira thing. Keep my um, sunbeam concentrate on her. Active. And just say, yep. and just say, where is Quill? Where did he go? And keep it focused, like, on her. Sure. Uh, so I make a constitution Con saving throw. Yeah. Uh, that is a 15. <laughs> so she fails. Yes. 37 damage. 37 <laughs> points of damage. You watch as this hole is, like, blasted through the simulacrum, just leaving this just open space of empty snow and ice just blasted through her um yeah and she, uh, she, is, does, uh, she just looks at you oh and she's blinded as she's well blinded until my next turn mm. interesting oh okay um <clears throat> mm, interesting what would she do here She's still got. No, she's she's still got. Where I am? <laughs> no, she definitely won't do that. Uh, she can't cast that. She can only cast. Okay. Uh, in a desperate attempt at the end of your round, Sentry, uh, she just throws her hand out, like clutching her eyes, and a fireball is going to go off, catching uh, Sentry, Azaria, um, Kamara, and the Wolf Pack. And that's it. She's just going to try and do that. So deck saving throw from Sentry, Azaria, and the Wolf Pack. Azaria is going to fail. Wolfpack's going to succeed. Both Wolfpack succeeds. Kamara succeeds. 15 for me. 15, that's a failure, unfortunately. Mm. So, that's going to be 15, 20, 25, 29 fire damage, halved because it's a spell. So, 
That's going to be 14, 14 points to Sentry. Um, Azaria stumbles back, like, uh, clearly trying to, like, put out her robes that have set aflame. The two, all of the, the, the wolf pack just leap to the side, snarling uh, in rage uh, as this uh, woman is, is causing havoc amongst them. Uh, she does not answer. Uh, the two flying creatures are going to flee. They start flying away. Um, no. <laughs> trying to... Yeah. Oh, God. We're going to see dead. him in a row as two. Retriever is gone. Flies flee. Ayla. Hello. I'm going to jump back across plus to the... Go for the, it. And I'm pretty sure with my movement, I can get up to this side of the ship. And I would like to <laughs> recklessly <laughs> hit Zarkira in her face. That sounds advisable. Um, so oh, so I rolled like trash, though. Uh, 22 is the highest. That um, will hit. For the first that one. That hits. Yep. Second. Oh, 19. 19. Not quite a crit. So 19 plus 13. Both the second hits. one. Both hits. Uh, uh, I rolled like trash. 23 and 32. <laughs> no, I mean... Sucks, 17 damage for the first one. Um, it's because I rolled an 8 uh, and a 9 on the dice and I had advantage and it just felt a bit trash, you know? Ah, right. With shield, you, you know? can't defend herself from this. So, yep. Um, so the first blow, like, rips chunks of snow and ice, leaving, like, half a corpse of this form left. Uh, 19 damage on the second. Ayla, and how then... would you like to finish the simulacrum off? As the second blow comes down. I'll um, point the hammer at her and just say, it doesn't matter what you've done because we're going to find him and then I'm going to come and end you and then just smash. You just see like a nice. faint smile uh, just as you say the words before the hammer comes down. Oh, I intended it. And then you crush. The rest, the body just turns into a pile of snow and ice. Just becoming disused, this pile of nothing. Uh, two things drop to the ground: a ring and the jagged faceplate, like kind of like di the gem-studded faceplate that she was wearing. Both drop Ooh. to the ground. Everybody kind of stumbles I for a second. See. Everybody looks around. Um, we're going to drop out of initiative. We've got ten minutes left. If there's anything anybody wishes to immediately do, otherwise I'm going to jump to my boy over there and <laughs> we're going to deal with his situation. Uh, other than just get this crew going and get us moving, that's what I would like. Yeah, so the ship is like, yeah, because this is all happening in seconds, right? And getting the yeah. ship out of the dock takes a bit of time. I will say that with things on retreat, without Zarkira, with two of the dragons destroyed, with Thalia in the longship, you brought Felissa along as well, who's can easily take on these shuttle and dragons you manage to prevent any more serious casualties from occurring in gusthaven oh. if you had taken any longer one more turn and i would have started rolling checks to see if aradan moonstar and the city took any serious casualties oh, okay okay nice you wow. cut that extremely close but you pulled it off um God and yeah damn. with all of these things in place it you it, you it takes like a few minutes like you know to get everything ready but the immediate battle continues. Meanwhile, somewhere unknown to him, after a minute, I mean, you can keep making saving throws, Quill, but ultimately it's going to have the same effect whether you, you know, after a minute or whether you save early. It doesn't really I mean, matter. Yeah, I'm in a cage. I'm just going to do it anyway. Oh my God, five, six, 20. Finally. Okay. <laughs> so after a few minutes, you manage to kind of <sighs> like break free of this spell. And looking around, you appear to be in, yeah, like a dark crystalline metal chamber with a faint purple light. Um, there is runes, like just strips of purple runes all around the whole place glowing. Uh, and could I hear people talking? Muttering. You can hear very f muffled voices coming from somewhere nearby. Um, if you start looking around, there appears to be like a like uh, an observational window and you can see figures out there moving around. Uh, you can see serpentine-like men and women 
uh, wearing very medical looking and sort of like, you know, scholarly robes, uh, making analysis, like writing notes, uh, kind of examining you. They, one of them seems to point to the other as you kind of stir awake and they take more notes. Um, yeah. Uh, the runes around the door, can I examine those? You can make an arcana check, yes. Uh, I just want to see if it's a waste of time to cast any spells. It probably is. 25. You are pretty certain that this place is is dampening magic. This is an anti-magic field. Shit. How much that affects other abilities, like the Eye of the Storm or other things like that, you don't know. But certainly spell casting is rendered uh, immobile in this space. Don't have any charges in the Eye of the Storm. Who's who's in that room? Who's okay? Who's watching me? When which arm of the Valkyrian Empire is this? Is this Arkira? Because that would suck. What well, they it's nod Arkira. through the door, the window. <laughs> no, but they, you can tell the Serpentine. I mean, you've seen Serpentine mages working for Zarkira before. You encountered one in the in the temple. Um, this does appear to be you, you guessing by the structures. You don't think you're on a world. You think you might be on like a ship. You think you might be on one of uh, like an astral ship. Whether it's the Tassadar, whether it's Zarkira's, you don't know. But your best guess is that you are on a ship somewhere um, in some sort of room, some sort of containment room. Crap. Damn it. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Anything you would uh, like to try? I mean... I do kind of want to try a. Uh, I want to try divine intervention. Um, I think that's but, that would be a cool way to end it. But I mean, you I can also try every day. I also want to wait to see who comes to see me, but I don't know how long it will take. Um, okay, it doesn't take that long. Uh, after about an hour, a female figure appears in the observational window. Flanking her on either side are two more copies of that same woman. Oh, cr <laughs> she looks in, and you can see the, the middle one is taller and seems more imposing. Uh, the other two almost subservient to her. She kind of examines. She taps the glass or presses a, a kind of long-nailed finger against it. Well, well. You hear her voice kind of echoing through it. It seems that we have caught quite the little prize. I had to sacrifice one of my little pawns to do it, but I think that eye of yours will prove most interesting. Ah. Oh. Well, it wouldn't be of any use to you. Hesper will never join your side. Oh, I'm certain that there's more to the Titan's magic that I can unravel than you may guess. But we'll see, won't we, my little friend? She takes her oh. finger off and it goes silent. You couldn't even... You couldn't even get your Handrius. Don't think you can get a Titan. She God turns to some of the other scholars and starts talking to them. Well, I'm going to try my see your move. <laughs> sure. If this uh, fucking works, I'm going to lose my shit because <laughs> I've got an idea, but man, it's a low chance. So what I is mean, it? You have to roll level or under? Cleric level, level or under? Level or under, and I am level 12 cleric, and I want to return to the Storm Chaser. 12% yeah. uh, chance. The 100. Here we go. 12 Let's or go. lower. Boom. <laughs> 34. Ah. 34. <laughs> It's not enough. Whatever, whatever magic is dampening this place, it seems that Hesper can't quite reach you just yet. Mm, and that, my friends, is the best place to end an episode ever. Oh, <laughs> oh my god! Oh my god! What's the plan? Will Do I show up next week? I love it, but I Will hate it. Be, I wanted one of them, and I got one of them. Very important. Oh, I am so glad it wasn't Sentry. Yeah, she, she, like, it was one of the two of them, but she suspected you'd be the easier catch. So, I put up a fight. I put up a hell of a fight. You did, yeah. God, it was. It came down to that lot, that paralysis ray. Like, if, if, 
just being in range of that. And that's a recharge ability as well. Um, anyway, we've got to go because, yeah. well, we're going to go on Yogg's cast. So Yogg's cast, goodbye. Thanks for watching this very Bye. tense, Thank you. Yeah. episode. Yeah. Uh, we'll if carry you want to come and on listen to... D &D. Exactly. You want to listen to us talk about the game and also read out messages and stuff, come on over to High Rollers D&D. &D. Or enjoy uh, Parsec Pals. We'll see you all yeah. next yeah. week. Bye. Bye, everybody. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye, Yogg's. Bye. Hi. Hi, high rollers. Hi there. Hi. Uh, holy crap. Oh, so, uh, that, was, that was awesome. Tom, yeah. you're going to dust off Piri's sheet, eh? <laughs> no, I think, no, I think that we can is... keep him playing Quill for now. There's, um, is Piri's there's sheet available to play? <laughs> I no. feel like no. <laughs> Piri's Piri sheet <laughs> is absolutely not available to play, <laughs> FYI. Just so people know, Piri's not, not available. Uh, things okay. might have happened Piri to Piri. Can't come to the phone right now. Uh, Piri can't, definitely can't come to the phone right now because he's dead. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what? Maybe. Oh my god. Uh, but I, play him anyway. I would say you guys still have a lot of options. You might not know where he is, but you do have allies out in astral space. You have things like the wings of Ishtar. Uh, you do have information that you may be able to glean. Quill may even be able to free himself. We don't know. Um, so I don't think I want Tom to play another character. It might just mean sort of a yeah. bit of back and forth thing. Like you guys yeah, yeah. jump to Quill. You guys jump to Quill. Um, yeah, I don't mind that. Yeah. So that's, I kind of want to cool try and stick Gotta get praying, boy. Gotta get praying. Gotta get praying. Gotta get praying. Maybe. We'll see if it works, or, but holy shit. Something else. Pray. Something Oof. else. And slay. But dealt a pretty significant blow to us, Akira. That's one of her three simulacrums she had. Woo! And that's one oh, of them gone. She's only got three simulacrums. It's fine, guys. It's totally cool. I mean, she's a super powerful, high level sorceress wizard. She's going to, you know, she was she going to, yeah. you know, oh, I'll go deal with them myself. Always have no, a backup. She's a mega villain. Yeah. yeah she's now, got back our, backups. Always our have game. a backup. Our yeah, character. Our game. Is this the first time one of our party members oh. has actually seen the real Zarkira? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Oh. 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 So here's an interesting oh. fact for you simulacrums can't regain oh. spell slots. So when this simulacrum cast Meteor Swarm on you, it's the same simulacrum you fought in the Valley of the Storm, which is why they didn't have a ninth level spell for this battle. Because they can't oh. replenish them. Oh. Handy dandy. The so other thing, yeah. I forgot to mention this, exclusive High Rollers D&D bonus, you guys level up. Welcome to level 15. <gasps> what? Oh, yes. shit. Oh, yes. What? That was a huge Ooh. battle. That was a huge battle. You've saved Gusthaven. 15. Uh, Yes. This is crazy. So is the battle like done? Like it's just yes. Like, done? So yeah, like... that's well, next week we'll jump into it and talk about the aftermath. But with the allies that you have, with you guys being free to fight in the other locations, like I said, if it had, if you had taken one more turn, if the, they had bogged you down for another mm -hmm. turn, I had um, basically like death saving throws and injury rolls for the NPCs and uh, like the citizens. Like I was going to make a general check for each Holy zone guacamole. to see how badly they were destroyed. You guys managed to, so you know, Thalia gets to Prince Aradan, manages to fend off the Shardland Dragon, and then they manage to rally and kind of rally behind the the, the Twin Star. The other side, Felissa, the the Blue Dragon, manages to help the the citizens kind of stave off for a time, and then you guys come and wrap it up and basically mop up there, basically. But we'll we'll cover that in next week's episode and give you like a satisfying like, hey, you did it, well done. Here's some medals. Also, where's Quill? <sighs> um, and yeah, yeah, uh, we kind of yeah, lost level him. fifteen. Oh, oh, oh. Persistent this rage. Is, this is too. This is too. Knock me out of rage. No, she's always raging. Always raging now. Mm. Um, this is to signify, by the way, this victory against Zarkira Simulac from this defense of Gusthaven. This signifies we are now in the epic tier of the game. We are now in the final tier of playing Dungeons and Dragons. From here on in, the fights are going to be We're pretty in intense. Now. We are in the. Uh, this is the official. The fights are already in pretty intense. <laughs> well, they're gonna God. keep being intense. So, yeah, and like yeah, us, and yeah, like yeah, you yeah. just witnessed there as well. You're gonna fight enemies who have pretty powerful abilities, like Globe of Invulnerability and stuff like that. They're gonna be using tactics I mean, yeah, and spells. Level nine so, stuff. I mean, she didn't have yeah. the level nine, sure, but yeah, <clears throat> I feel like you the fight final the real one, Sarkira, she will. Is gonna be. It's gonna be three level nines because both her simulacrums are gonna be there too. Maybe. Maybe. Zarkira Prime with her two little chubs. Yeah, Zarkira <laughs> Prime thing. That's, yeah. <laughs> that's got me that's worried. That's copyrighted. <laughs> <laughs>
It's like, you can't call yourself that. That's get my your, name. That's yeah. me. Get your own name. Eight level slot. Eight that's level slot, big. maybe. Same. That's yeah. pretty big. Nice. Very big. So now you guys have got your Power own big spells to... Done. Oh shit, so do I. Ongoing yeah. Sentinel. Well, I don't, I don't have any eighth level spells because of my multi class. But I'm gonna have a read of these. I'm not gonna pick it. Now. Are you gonna level up yeah, cleric, yeah, Tom? Same. Get that extra one percent on divine intervention. Of course I am. I'm min maxing this escape. Um, <laughs> I love oh, I do it. have. I, love it. I now have access to seventh level spells, which I didn't before. So nice. That's cool. Uh, anyway, while you guys are leveling up, I know I wasted a load of time doing my own level up. I'm gonna read some. No, donations. that's fine. We were chatting about the game. Yeah. Um. Also, I rolled a seven on my rolled HP. That's pretty good. Nice. Uh, Yog's body uh, did a half hundo. Thank you very much. Oh. Uh, Nase. Wow. Yeah. Sorry. Uh, sorry, I've been away Thank so you. long, guys. Hope you're all managing in the current situation. I can't watch live today because I'm not uh, not up to date. But I wanted to drop in and give you guys my best. Keep up the good work. Much love to all of you, Yog's body. Thank you very much, Yog's body. Thank you. Do not worry about falling behind, and uh, we will look forward to seeing you live again. Um, thank you very much. Crispy with a quarter hundo. Uh, this is for Saramana, who is having a tough time in hospital. Uh, here's oh, hoping you get better and go home soon. Yes, same. Same as yeah, Saramana. Yeah. Um, definitely. And also, uh, thank you very much, Crispy. Uh, I now need to scroll down a ton to where we were. Here we go. Daft Day 41. Oh, dear. Zarkira went off for a drink and a wee and didn't come back after the break. What a shame. Well... Guess the combat is over. Yeah, that didn't happen, unfortunately. Um, <laughs> Natalie Hawthorne, uh, speaking of the Discord, here's a couple of bucks to apologize for turning the TTRPG uh, chat channel into the Watch Nat Try to Homebrew Something That Can Finally Defeat Her Players show. Uh, <laughs> also, uh, also a, uh, apologies to Rosie, Sam, Dean, and Pizza for trying to kill them. No, I mean... <laughs> It sounds like you've it's you're the DMing the players. The, the players have gotten far too strong. You need to shut them down, and <clears throat> I think the entire High Rollers Discord should join you in that effort. Uh, <laughs> Varys has donated with no message. Thank you very much. Marsh Tom, Tom, Re, Kate, Kim, Troth, and well, after last week, I Marsh Tom, the DM's very own Marsh Tom, is going to say it. Oh, here it goes. Marsh Tomp is going to say Matt's real name. Oh boy, this is tough. The council has deliberated, and Marsh Tomp will say the name Ma. Uh oh. Oh yeah. Uh, Must have run out of words. Shame. Ran out of characters there. Shame. Um, it's a shame. Old Man Bro has donated with question for Rhiannon. Could it be that Sentry likes warm plates? Uh, is because just like warm plates. It also feels warm when you're hugging someone since Sentry tends to be a hugger. If yes, confirm it's canon. I think that's the that was it, right? Like it was yeah, definitely that Sentry kind of likes vibe. Hugging. Yeah. Yeah. She's a warm hugger. Warm plates on your face though. Yeah. Just a warm yeah. a warm feeling, yeah. It's, it's canon. Something nice and cool. Marsh Tomp yeah. Marsh Tomp again. Well, there we have it. Matt, I said your name. I hope no funky space time planar magic stuff happens that stop me from saying your name. I'll say this though, thanks so much uh, for all you uh, all as a group have done for us the past 12 months, giving me, uh, giving us all so much joy. Thank you very much, Marsh Tom. Uh, Snake Rat has donated with first Vox Sayonara, now Azaria. Can someone not betray these dorks? <laughs> uh, yep. She, she uh, said, didn't know. She was, she, she was all mind games. She was games. wasting time. Yeah, Azaria's on our team. We Brookstone yeah, them. Um, Res has 11. Just wanted to say a big thank you for everything that you all do. I've been watching Aroas. It's one of the few things that I have to uh, I have to look forward to. Recently, you guys helped me get through some really tough times, and I wanted to return the love. Thank you very much, Res has. I'm glad we are helping you to get through it all. Um, Ghost in progress with a quarter hundo. I stand by my previous claim that nothing is quite as great as Tom's shitty in grin. <laughs> Yeah, I'm glad. <laughs> um, <laughs> I mean, yeah. When I'm when I'm dodging two flying boys six turns in a row, it feels pretty oh my good. God. Um, <laughs> I mean, they, they were pretty low great. level boys, but fuck me, I thought that they might get a couple of attacks through, and then it would just be like miss, 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 shield, miss, 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 miss. I was just like, ah, these boys. Yeah. Also, I think useless. I was four. 
four or five turns through my 10 turn banish. So there was still quite a lot left before that dragon was permanently banished. banished. Yeah. Uh, Torman, I've been watching some wholesome Onega and Tom's, wait, Tom, Glass Hands Hazel, Trot the Barbarian and Mark the Eel. The answer to this question was never answered. So Tom, if you face palm the table with your face, will your face be left behind? Fucking, I don't understand <laughs> half of these messages. I appreciate the donation messages, but I just want you to know that so much of it is just like over me. I have no idea that, what that's saying. That copy pasta? What was that? <laughs> Thanks, cool man. Uh, Snake Rat 18. I take it back, Azaria. You rule. Yeah, she does. Uh, Sir yeah. Dolphus. <clears throat> Oi! It's your dirty noise hole boy again, sipping on America's <laughs> favorite piss water, Bud Light. Smash that yum button, Trotty. You've made my lawn yeah. mowing bearable once again, and my burning paper white skin thanks you. High roller sunscreen, Starbane. Get it? Thanks, uh, <laughs> Fedor. <laughs> Oh, yeah, I did get it, um, and I hate it, but I love it, but I hate it. Also, fuck really you. Good. No, that's great. <laughs> that's really good. I got distracted um, and fuck. I missed it, but that's fine. Oh, uh, that was a terrible pun. Be like okay. Adkalar has donated with, everyone keeps getting my goddamn name wrong. Even my own mum. I've had it. I quit. Find yourselves a new bird man. There you go. <laughs> and he did. <laughs> uh, did I get it wrong? I, <laughs> I probably uh, did. Quillic. Multiple Quillex for the entire campaign. I, it's ingrained. Uh, it's in, I try not to. <laughs> I'm trying, okay? I'm trying. I'm sorry. Uh, little Pink Dragon. Hi, Rollers. A while ago, I bought the High Rollers notebook, but I could never find a D&D group to play with. I recently realized that I'm trans and have been using it to write down my trans ventures. It has been one heck of a journey. Wonderful. Nice. Wonderful. 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 That's, That's awesome. very good to hear. Nice um, to meet you. Yeah. Yorkshire Dave, hey, bag gum, and then some. Clap. It literally just all caps clap. Us Yorkshire folk love a roast dinner, so I'll be honest, as long as I've known Quill's a bird man, I've wondered what he might taste like with some roast tatties and a nice chicken gravy. Maybe we'll find out. Maybe you oh. will. Uh, <laughs> I, I'm not sure how I feel about everyone wanting to eat me. Yama Swift or Jamus Swift with a half hundo. Um. Hey, hi, Rollers. Long time viewer, so I thought it was about time I gave something back. Mark, a question for you. Are you a fan of the Girl Genius webcomic? I've noticed some real similarities between Starbane and a sorta baddie from that series. I've never heard of it, never seen it, never read it, so... There can't say that there are any intentional similarities, but I think like a lot of people say like, oh, did you get ideas for this from this? Did you get ideas from that? The fact is, is a lot of media borrows from a lot of things. Like a lot of the places that I'm inspired by are probably places that other creators or game devs or whatever are inspired by too. So we're all pulling from a very similar pool of stuff. So uh, yeah. unlike Shadow Song Pinnacle, which was a direct, absolute piss take reference to Metal Gear. <laughs> Shadow Moses. Shadow, I prefer Shadow love Song letter. Pinnacle. Yeah, love it. Was, it was a love, love letter. letter. It was a love letter. It was, yeah. Yes. Um, we had a donation from Fail that says, "Oh my hey. god, the stress levels are off the charts. What a battle! I can't believe Quill got abducted by snake aliens." Ah, well, prison break time, I guess. Good luck. Thank you very much, Fail. Um, thank you very much indeed. And I now need to load the Discord uh, because Nightjar would have. Oh, I've a load it. of stuff. He has. Wonderful. Uh, Wolfric Datorani, Grandmaster DJ Delkin, Sever Gaming, uh, D Miller1841, and Crazy29 gifted subs. D Miller with a half hundo of subs. 50. Gifted subs. Wow. Thank you, Whoa, thank, thank you very much. Whoa. Thank you very much for the gifted subs. Uh, there were some bits from Trumpol, Wolfric Datorani, uh, Boondoggle, and No Laws86. Thank you for the bits. There was a Yog Dono, a couple of Yog Donos, Olorenbe with no message, thank you very much, and Ace of Thorns. Oh boy, it's crazy time! A bit Avengers slash Guardians versus Thanos on Titan in Infinity War. Am I right? Brace for impact! Sorry, Quill. No impact. Well, nice. a little bit. Uh, but thank you very much. Uh, and the best sub-messages of the stream, 
Uh, one from Serico, Clear Skies from Minnesota. I've been watching slash catching up on Aroa since Yogcon. It has been great watching you guys grow from the shipwrecked strangers to saviors of the world. Take it easy, my dudes. That's what uh, D&D's about. Uh, there was a uh, Yogs like chat during the retcon thing. Tom is falling off the island. He gets no say. Well, and he did. That's true. Um, nice. And apparently, and then a lovely message a as well. Sweet yeah. message as well. Well, thank you very much, Kuko Ecuador, for the sweet message. I'm sure you know what it is. Uh, and that is all, and a gif of Chicken Run. Thank you, Nightjar. And also, just and thank because you, Tom tried to glance over it, Kuko Ecuador. Uh, it's awesome that D&D is popular in the Philippines. And thanks for very much for watching as well. Yeah, joining thank us you. for the first time live. Yeah. Um, hey, so amazing. Before we go, <laughs> before we go. We do need to mention our beloved sponsor once again. <gasps> yes. So uh, how about I do that real quick? Yeah, you're going to read my song? Yeah. Do you want the lyrics? I'll post no. them for uh, you. Uh, what? <laughs> yeah, so... Uh, uh, are we... <laughs> I was there. And uh, <laughs> I heard that song and... Uh, oh my God. Yeah, it did affect me actually and... Uh, I'm not sure I'm ever. I'm not sure I'm ever gonna be the same person again. I'd like you to hide my identity if possible. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> however, I did sign up to D and D Beyond, and it did change my life for the better. So I hope never. I hope to never hear that song ever again. <laughs> Thank you. Got a better one in D and D just now. Yeah, come oh. back. DM just round. <laughs> did you get your right now? Swipe down his well planned town. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god. Amazing. Very good troll. I can't down. believe you put that together every time. Uh, but yeah, thank you very much, DD Beyond. Thanks for sponsoring the show. Uh, we love you. Big love to you, DD Beyond. Cheers. Uh, and yeah, what an exciting episode. We'll be back next week to continue on. We'll see what's going to happen to our poor sweet bird boy. Um, uh -oh. And how the party might Ooh. be able to uh, go and do a little bit it's of a fine. rescue mission, maybe. Um, and yeah, figure it all out. But yeah, perfect. Uh, we'll everybody. See. Thanks again. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye,